Will do. Uh, it won't let me from the screen, I don't think. Uh, yep, there it will. Oh, there we go. All right. All right, uh... All right, there we go. Hey guys, if you're tuning in, we are playing Drive Club with some of the PSVR guys that I hang out with. We've got uh, Jason, the Levinator, he, uh, VR chat show. We've got Old Pop Tarts, he's the Joystick Guru, and Grim. Grim, do you have a page? Like, do you have a channel? Yeah, uh, the Grim, well, it's, uh, Catnip Games. Catnip Games, there we go. I don't think I've actually ever checked out your, uh, your channel. I'm just a really shitty person. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this it is. It's yeah. it's been a while since I streamed anything, so like I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I think it's it's the catnip games, but it might be Grim Catnip the catnip games. That sounds like Grim, Grim that, catnip catnip games. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Jay. For months. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been streaming much either. I don't stream much. I'm trying to stream a little bit more. It's just a time thing. Oh, absolutely. But, but tonight. Not time. But to, I'm off. I'm off right now. So tonight, tonight I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do a later night, a late night stream of. Uh, well, you're just in time. I was just gonna say I was gonna do it last night, but uh, tonight I'm gonna do a stream of the Monster Cat songs in Electronauts. For anybody who gives a shit. Oh yeah, you were talking about that. Yeah, because Monster Cat came to Electronauts first, and they're different songs. Monster Cat's a big label from from from, uh, from BC actually. They're uh, like they're an EDM label, and I guess uh, oh, okay. and, I guess, and I think and I guess people who like actually like are like EDM, it's not like people who know who know their dance music better. Like I guess Monster Cat's like it's a thing. I didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't, like never even heard of Monster Cat before. Neither had I. I. Saber DLC, uh, for me, it was Electronauts, and then I looked them up, and I was like, oh, okay, well. Uh. But then I had people commenting on my Beat Saver stream when I did the uh, new DLC, and I was oh. like, I love this song! I listen to all of these <laughs> normally! Oh my god, oh, I can't wow. drive or shit. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this was <laughs> not... <laughs> Damn, <Grim. laughs> Man. Holy so, shit. So, um, for anybody that's uh, tuning in, um, today... In a year, buddy. Matter, it's gonna... Sorry, not talking to you. Now, not talking from you. This has, be... Someone just popped into mine. Yeah. We got a year. We got a year with this game. Well, that's what you and I were talking. I was going to say to you, Joystick, before uh, before Jason jumped in there. Is it, you got to wonder what's uh, what's coming in a year, though. Like, uh, let's just say for shits and giggles that PSVR 2 and PSVR 5 are out by, like, fall 2020. I could see, since GT Sport is supposed to be a... Uh, like a game as a service, like it's supposed to, like you know, continue oh, to grow. Crap. Sorry, man. Oh. I could see them bringing in full VR mode to GT Sport once they have more power. Because oh, I, I hope. oh yeah, because I don't Actually, think because yeah. I don't think GT Sport's going anywhere. Like it's it's supposed to be like a club racer, kind of like I think the the plan for it was to kind of be like uh, i racing, which is like the big uh, sim racing on the PC, right? And like that game's not all about graphics; it's all about like leagues. And okay. continue like you have to buy courses and you buy cars, right? It's like and you pay a subscription fee. But that's not what GT Sports trying to do. But they're trying to be, I think, the console version of it. That could actually work. So, so I could just gonna be updating the game, like yeah. Well, they're for, getting. I mean, they're updating it almost every month. I mean, the car the car list has almost doubled since it launched, and every car that they've dropped has come to VR, right? It's it's more a, a fact, and like and some of the courses. I think it's more of a matter of just power. I was gonna say, yeah. just give us a one versus one. We're good enough with it. Well, the fact that they, the, the fact that they have like they have got VR working in drive or in GT Sport, you know that like the system is designed for it now, right? Like, it's more a matter of just power. Ugh. One, two, three. Oh, you guys were one, way closer two. than <laughs> I thought you were. I was too busy running my mouth. I wasn't looking in the rearview mirror. <laughs> Son of a bitch! I forgot There's my. Room. I forgot just, my. Pop. Just hitting those racing lines. Forgot my pop in the office. Woman. 
Bring me my <laughs> drink. <laughs> Ooh, I'm unlocking Bring cars. me my mead and a stern kissing to close the night. <laughs> I'm not really sure what a st I'm not really sure what a stern kissing is to you. <laughs> Actually, I, I got a good idea what that might mean. <laughs> you should do um, what is it? Japan. Um, ooh, this is that. Harsh one. You're gonna. Figure we're all gonna have to. We're all gonna have to race that, um, that little one. Yes, this not super harsh. It's windy. Nothing's harsh if you've got skill. Just gotta use that break. <laughs> all right, where's the mock at here? Oh. It's locked. All right, we'll run this then. You love your night courses. <laughs> the night courses. I think that like the night races are much more exhilarating. Tim, you know what I mean? Tim, what's going on, man? Yeah, the the, night. the nights. Uh, oh, okay, weird. The nights can be cool though. Uh, they actually look pretty good. I I like how the headlights shine inside the cab. Like, if someone's behind you? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Jay. Jeez. Hey, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> oh, no. This, yeah, this course can be brutal. I shouldn't have taken this car. I should have taken what Pop-Tarts did. Ah! This is all about turning. Although, if I ever get, if I ever open, oh shit, that's not a road. Whoa. If I ever open it up, Jay can't, or you guys can't, that Caterham's got nothing for speed. Uh, How many laps uh, is this? Get the, uh, probably three again. I don't know if I've got room to catch up. This, this beast doesn't like these corners. Oh shit, I spun all the way out. Damn. Yeah, I see you, Grim. Up with me. <laughs> <laughs> Here I come, bitches. I just gotta catch these racing lines. Ooh. Oh my you god. Made me crash. <laughs> This thing just does not like the sharp corners. I get it up to speed and then it's just like, holy shit, into a corner. It's this time I didn't take the wrong turn. Ah, no turn, you pig! No oh. I can't get this fucking cunt to come around the corners. Oh, look at the language. Jeez, Shug. <laughs> this guy, man. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that handbrake didn't work. Uh, <laughs> I just passed somebody. Nope. I thought I saw someone in the corner. That must have been just a traffic. Awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got me back on that mess. <laughs> hey, you guys. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yes. Especially with this beast of a car. Should have taken a hey. cat around or something light. Where did it go? Grim, Grim Catnip, I am so mad at you, dude. <laughs> you do not you do not do that again, okay? Uh, you know no, what? I I'm really not plan not to. I don't like the wheel this game. <laughs> that was yeah, no, that so was so much not easier fine. with the controller. It's too arcadey. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna drive some race cars with you guys. And let me get in my warm up my Koenig Zeg. Here I come, man. Is that stream in February? Okay, okay. I'll try to use fewer. Uh, uh, expletives and so forth as well.
That's uh, just that. I can't no, make just that. Not that you, I can't make that promise. Use... <laughs> yeah, I got you. I'm pretty, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I just referred to my car as a fucking cunt, so let's go from there. <laughs> Demonetized. Hmm. <laughs> Do you want a longer track or a shorter track? Longer. All right. Something where I can stretch my legs. Yeah, I like those two. Catterham joysticks driving a go kart on a course here. Uh oh. No, that's that's been me. <laughs> that's what I've been riding. <laughs> oh wait, I need to send Robin invite. Before I forget. I let their list that's out of order. Let me go find you. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and set up. Might as well uh, get a few races in. Let some people know. What are you doing? I think I'm going to go ahead and set stream up. Or uh, yeah, set up a stream. Oh, you're not streaming. I thought you were. No, 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 no. Let's see here. All right. Boosted. It's been set. There all right, go. all set to go. Only took, only took me 20 minutes to get to his name. <laughs> all right, invite coming your way, Rob. <laughs> What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Josh here, the Joystick Guru, coming Dang. at you with another live stream. We're playing some Drive Club. We got Shughead from Shughead Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Sh Sh it's, it's, it's Chris from Shughead Gaming. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> we got the Livinator and Grim Catnip from Grim Catnip Games. And we are uh, sucking horribly at first, so. Uh... <laughs> well, you know what? I am uh, going to be right in the right place then because I usually come in last. But hopefully today you guys will be worse than me. That's my strategy. I've, Rob, have we played together? To Not from what I've seen so far. <laughs> Rob, have we played together? <laughs> yeah. I think I think we have. I, I think I'm I recognize sure you your voice. Um, uh, are you who's speaking right now? Uh, Shughead? Shughead, yeah. 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 I don't know. If I, let me see if I we're, uh, if uh, I'll look on the party and see if we're in friends together. I don't know if we're and friends, but I think we might have. Hang on a second. Maybe firewall. Well, guess what? Boom. It's probably firewall. There you go. Old yeah. pop tarts also. <laughs> ba boom. Here comes another one. Yeah, let's That's let's cool. start this bitch right. up, Jay. Well, we kick it up. Right on. Yeah. Yeah, Shughead. You're yes. a good reviewer, man, and a good writer. And <laughs> I uh, I watch the reviews all the time, and you really will go in depth. Awesome, man. I appreciate it. It's not for everybody. Some people think I talk too much, but it's what I, it's I can't help it. Very professional, man. Nothing wrong with talking. Oh, it yep. depends. What you, depends what you want, right? You got. Like I always said to people, like you've got, uh, you've got like uh, parole who he's very very IGN-y. like and that's a, and I mean and I don't mean that as an yeah. insult. Like I mean I'm not saying IGN's fucking ethics. No, no. I'm saying like the way that they'll do like a three or four minute review and they kind of like just like touch on like things briefly and move on. That's that's a that's a different heart. That's hard to write, uh, and you know yeah. and actually like still kind of cover things so people feel like they understand. I'm not like that. I'm more like uh, I always get I always get accused of, I get accused of ripping him off, but uh, I'm more like ACG, and I love the way he reviews stuff. Oh, right on. Yeah, no, I really appreciate it. You you uh, you get a lot of people that even claim to have a review, and really what they're doing is reacting to the game, and not exactly saying you know here's a feature that I like about it. This is another thing that the game does that's unusual. You know, oh, see what I mean? Your reviews are always uh, to do with. Uh, you know, um, you know how I say here are the good and bad. Or here's what's interesting about it. Um, well, that's just too fast for Anyway, it's also it, it's oh, also watch out, you guys. I got the best car now. It also comes with like when with VR, like there's like every company's still like learning how to do it, and so I always think yeah. it's really interesting to like to like rip it apart and be like like what they've done right and wrong because like when you're you know if you're a big reviewer and all you do is review triple a games like you know every game looks good <laughs> like they are yes what's yeah. up <laughs> yeah if i was ign i would send like a real hot looking girl in to play uh sky or midi 3 and then have her go eh, you know it's not that much <laughs> no way that's actually how they do 
Oh, it's going good, Morgan, man. How are you? How's Oregon, <laughs> man? Didn't you just move? <sighs> I'm pick, catch that fucking F-50. Oh, that was like a... We just moved to Oregon. A 26-hour drive or something? Into everything. I'm just trying to catch up, and I don't think that's going to happen. No, it'll uh, happen. Yeah. I, well, I'll spin it out into something, and you'll go zooming by. That's what I'm counting on. <laughs> I'm in the McLaren supercar already, and I'm, you know, I'm last anyway, so... I'm not sure what else to do. I think I'm in the best car. Well, what you're saying is um, you're, pr you're proving that it's more about the driver and less about the car. Is that what you're saying? It, well, <laughs> you know, in this case, that I'm proof of that. <laughs> I am the best car, and you know, and last. But you know, when um, I see the um, rerun of my um, race, I have it set up so there's like a real kind of hot-looking girl that is like the driver, and then you sit in the passenger seat and look out <laughs> the window. Have you guys done that yet? It's really <laughs> so, you, so you just creepily stare at the computer girl yeah, while you're yeah, driving. Yeah, you're staring at it the whole time. Like, yeah, you're such a good driver. You know. Turn that wheel. Yes. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Shift that gear. I, yeah, I was just about to say, uh, grab, uh, grab, grab that, Ronnie, grab that up? stick. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't going there. I was waiting for uh, the guy know, with the name to I, do it. Yeah, you guys just, you just warned me you were streaming, so I was trying to, you know. Ouch. There. I took it there. That was no bad. Crash. <laughs> Damn, you guys are way ahead of all of us. Will said hi to all you guys, though. Just. Throw that out What's there. Up, Will? Why doesn't oh, he yeah. jump in? Why isn't Will? Yeah, why isn't Will here? Will, you got an answer for that? Yeah, what are you because doing? Because not there, everybody oh, yeah. could handle oh, the extreme we still got racing well. uh, heat. Actually, we, uh, we need to save two spots, right? Or one yeah. spot? No, one spot. Just minus, I think, actually. I don't know. Will's a young guy. It's probably almost bedtime. <laughs> probably is. <laughs> He's like, I just uh, finished my milk. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking. <laughs> waiting for uh, waiting for mom to come read him a bedtime story. <laughs> With a, a fresh, warm blanket. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we were, um, uh, Livinator and Heavy Hitter and me, we were goofing around in the rec room. You know what time it was when we got off? It was 4 a.m. Oh yeah. Coast. Yeah, I, it's just it was. That's insane. Chuck will tell you that's nothing new for me. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was, I was gonna say. I'm like, what you pussies? Yeah. Jason, Jason, and I don't get in till 4 a.m. <laughs> we we, we had already been chatting by like three hours by that time. Come on, man. <laughs> oh yeah, once yeah, when when you get into one of Liv's groups, there you're there forever. You just you never leave. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so especially, yeah. It, it'll be 7 o'clock in the morning, you're like, oh man, I really gotta go to bed. <laughs> you know, gee, I want or, people not to start a conversation with me in there, because you're gonna be there for yeah. another hour at least, if you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've yeah. got work in an hour, man, I'm still awake. <laughs> I gotta go to bed. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I played a lot of firewall with people I, I, where they're like, I gotta work in three hours. <laughs> I, I feel partially responsible for Grim. He's not saying no. I love it. He's like, yeah, that's so good. Oh, Frowny says hi. Frowny says hi to everybody. Hello, Frowny. Frowny. This is a more of an open track, I think, on this one, not as windy. All right, I'm still going to drive my crazy car. I need the McLaren. It's so fun. To... See, it's hard, though, to, like, to stand there and be like, oh, yeah, the McLaren's, like, this, like, this amazing car. It's like, but, like, look at the competition in the game. Like, one of the things that Drive Club did that you either loved or hated, it was, like, almost all supercars. I yeah. would have, I would have liked more of a selection, but, like, I'm like, where's the American, well, where's the muscle? Yeah. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool, actually. The core, yeah. the, the main game had, uh, it had a vet, it had a Camaro. Yeah, that would be cool to have a bitching Camaro like and be like, like what's this lot. like? And you have different vintage uh, cars and stuff. And Yeah, they were still all new cars, though. But yeah, I would, have, I would have liked the vintage stuff. But that's what I guess GT Sports for. But unfortunately, they don't have the... Uh, yeah. They don't have the online, really, so that sucks. I'm well, the fun of this game is that you can be like, oh, here's the Koenigsegg, and then you're sitting in the Koenigsegg. It has the interior, the whole thing. 
You could really get the experience, and it's in its physics model to be that car and all of that, right? Eh, so, I'm a fun about I'm, this. I'm 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 no. a si I'm a bit of a sim snob though, so like I think the drive oh, clubs. Okay. I think I think drive clubs got horrible physics, but it had a nice. Ah. But it has a nice. It, it's very sim Katie, right? Like it's not like Ooh, it's yeah. not need for it's not need for speed, Ooh. but it's all but it's also not like project cars either. Yeah. It's just yeah, it's just um, real I enough to be see, hard yeah. and fun. Yeah, I, I could see a, a, the person who would be like. Um, you know, uh, actual aficionado of driving Look games and like would know the stuff. <laughs> hey! God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying so hard not to use customers. I've got a sim rig you though, right? You forced me to, Grim Catnip. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a racing sim rig and so uh, like when I when I'm in the oh, mood wow. for being when I'm when I'm in the mood to be serious, like I do like a good serious game. Um like dirt's definitely my favorite racer on the PS VR. So just because tell it's more me what my you gym. mean by a racing sim rig. I mean, uh, is it a motion? Uh, no, it does not okay. have. It does not have motion. That's uh, that would be the next yes. step up. Yeah. I, mean, but, I would like to get that. If, I mean, is it? Can you actually get that in real life? Like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Is there software it's, for it? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah, on PC. Okay. So I, like but I have. But you can emulate it through. Uh, I have a seat. Uh, like I have a racing seat with like a, and it's got like a uh, like a seat slider, so you can adjust it. And I've got. A force feedback wheel, and I've got butt kickers on the seat as well, um, to like oh, to wow. add all the vibrations in and stuff. Um, what you're talking about is like they call it like a stage four mod, and basically what it does is it tries to simulate uh, tail swing, so that when if ah. when when the back end kicks out or, or breaks, if it breaks grip then or breaks traction rather, Ooh, the then hell? you feel that in your ass, right? It's kind of that ed edge of your seat oh, type neat. thing, right? Ah, oh, neat. But that costs that's thousands of dollars. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Franny. Yeah, and right, you know, well, definitely coming in last year. If there was games that you really, uh, you know, you know, it'd be hard to justify the price. You know, oh yeah. Based on you know how many games could you actually do with it and stuff. So and, on PC, I think it's know. basically just about every game, right? But I think, but it has its own software, right? Because what it's doing is it's okay. taking the it's taking the the physics from the uh, from the game, like when you break There's traction and throw and throwing it into the rig itself, right? <sighs> just like. So my like my butt kickers, they what they do is they pull the low end base out of the out of my subs, and then they throw it into the uh, oh sorry dude and then they throw them in, and then the butt kickers like basically throw that into the base of the seat. So like in dirt, like all the rock pings and stuff, I can feel that hitting the hitting like oh, the, the chassis. Cool. And then if I but if I hit like a big bump where you're driving a big V8, then the whole sh the whole seat shakes and stuff, right? But if you're on PC. Wow. You can draw. You can uh, download some software called uh, crap. What is it called now? I think it's called Sim Experience um, or Sim Vibe. Sure. It's Sim Vibe. That's what it is. And uh, it allows you to actually program like what effects ah. the butt kickers give you, so you have more control. Neat. But on 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 console, you pretty much that's your only choice. But it's cool. It's very cool. It's very cool to take a big yeah. jump and to have a big jump in dirt when you hit the ground. The whole the whole rig ah. goes. Boom! <laughs> Whew, that sounds amazing, man. Yeah, yeah that would be fun. It's like the best arcade racer you've ever been in. Oh, then you, yeah, th then you, throw, then you throw some VR in there, and it's just fucking sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. Well, I'm always doing crazy stuff, like I'll ride my exercise bicycle as my Skyrim horse. It really feels <laughs> way more like a real horse, right? And it has a flywheel in the front that blows air at me, so it feels like acceleration, too. Oh, wow. That's like, pretty cool. I'm always trying to make some kind of a, you know, real-world thing to trick my mind. Yep. I sat in the Hulu movie theater and watched the Indiana Jones movies, and I put popcorn where the popcorn was and the Coke <laughs> where the Coke was so I could actually eat that popcorn. That's awesome. <laughs> I love my VR, man. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm working on a I'm working on a Hotus a Hotus rig right now because um, I've I, ba oh, I bought nice. I bought these I bought these like armrest um, these armrest attachments to put onto like a uh, onto like a, a computer chair so that I can mount each side of the Hotus onto uh, onto like either side of the chair so that it's like a more like a real racing rig, but. The problem is, I was talking to Joystick about this, is that the cord that they give you for the HOTUS 4, it's like two feet long. So, Not even. Like, yeah, like I can't, mm. even, I can't even cross the width of the armrests. So 
on. I'm like a USB on the end, or no? It's there. It's a solid connection on both sides. So I'm. Uh, so you can't even get a, another cord to extend it, or well, you can if you do what I'm doing. So nuts. I'm an, I'm an electrician oh. in real life, and oh, so okay. so I'm actually what I've actually done is I've cut the cord and I stripped it back, and oh, I'm adding I'm adding extensions to it. Oh, right on. That's my dad's profession. Elec yeah. Well, elec elec electrical and, and electronics. And yep. he worked for phone companies and stuff. And yeah, he'd have no problem with that either. Yep. I it's try a to strip a wire and I always, you know, cut the wire in half. And, <laughs> you know, I don't know how he strips those teeny little wires. Like, whoosh. So basically what I'm doing is I'm actually, I, I ripped it open. It's 16 wires. And then I'm actually using two, uh, two, two, oh, eth punk. two, Two Ethernet plugs, basically, and I'm making oh. extensions for it. Right? <laughs> oh wow! Oh, I knew you were gonna do that to me. There you go, Moose. <laughs> I deserved it. I was blocking him. I was blocking him. I saw Every somebody doing it online, and they put a video up there, and I copied it. Maybe it was you. I think Shig's gone now. We're, we're lost. We're done. Yeah. Yeah. All I know is I'm in a dune buggy right now, driving oh, down funny. the road. <laughs> Frowny, <laughs> I was uh, I was actually a marketing director, Frowny, before I uh, decided that I didn't want to be in an office, so I uh, I changed to be an electrician. Mm. Frowny was just telling me that cool. uh, I hate working in an office. That they were uh, they they switched from being an electrician to the health field. Mm. Oh wow! It wasn't just being in an office; That's it was cool. also just more the office dynamic. I just have a lot more fun hanging out yeah. with the guys. It's just a better better way um, of living for me. Yeah. Better money too. That's cool, yeah. Right in my on, province. Yeah. In in my province at least, it's a lot better money. And you know, there's something nice about having a thing that like you have to do it. You know, like this is Kay. the job that you have to fix. And you're gonna sit there and you yourself, you know. Yeah, Moose, I was gonna do that. I was gonna tape the yeah. shit out of it. Where the hell are you guys? I just looked at the map. So far I don't even here. see you. Uh, we're almost. If you just hit something, we'll catch up. That can happen. That could happen. That will happen, we're, probably. Now that you've said it, I, too. <laughs> I'm sort of driving with my head out the window, like, Wee! I'm in a dune buggy, <laughs> but I, you know, you guys are never going to see me until well, the very last. What I love about the Venom GT is it's got the engine in the back, and it's like a, and it's and it's a and it's a pretty giant engine, and I can just hear it like roaring behind my head. On. Um, oh. Yeah, I used to like when I worked in a in a when I worked in an office. It was um at a animation company, <laughs> so I actually did kind of like it, you know. Nice. And I had my own groovy little office and everything, Jeez. and. Oh, oh, oh so really so you guys <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was sideways there for almost a second, dude. I was like diagonal up in the air. That was crazy. <laughs> I saw that in my rear view uh, mirror. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice open course. This is good. I like this. Yeah, get some nice, nice to get some nice straightaways just to just give her. I've been playing well, a lot. You know, I'm just uh, looking at like farms going by and like a babbling brook. I've been playing a lot of Dirt <laughs> Two, Dirt Two actually, and uh, man, I hope that gets a VR treatment because it's because it is awesome. It is awesome, and it's got some amazing courses too. I, I thought they said they're yeah. not doing it on that one. Uh, they're not. They said that they will wait to see if mm. the demand is there, and they have announced that they are doing it for PC. So who knows? Ah, uh, that's you know, so that's the version a positive, of it will exist. Uh, yeah, they well, I mean the whole uh, they they hired the psychology. <laughs> they, they hired the entire crew uh, that made this game when they oh, when st when Sony closed the studio, Co Codemaster bought them, and I said to Joystick, I'm pretty sh I'm pretty sure those are the guys that ended up working on the dirt exactly the dirt mod because how could they not? Hey Tristan, how's it going, man? Yeah. Uh, so it would make sense, like you know, they've got the they've got the the talent at least that knows the PSVR. Right. We'll see. The lighting's a lot nicer in Dirt too. Like it's really nice lighting, mm. and that's that would might ah. really that might really hurt. I'm running into the they transition. Take some of it in or whatever. I mean. Yeah, exactly. Or they just have to it. take it out. Yeah, fake it or take it out. Yeah, I could see them limiting <laughs> yeah. the effects. 
I like on regular dirt rally how the pro gives you an interactive uh, windshield that can break when you crash and yeah. water that's on it. And you know, that's pretty neat. Look at Shug, 416. Woo! Uh, yeah, no, uh, dirt is a really good example of a, of a game. I'm talking like dirt, PSVR. It was a really good example of a game that the pro really helped. Because, yeah. like, without a pro, you didn't get the rain effects on the windshield. You didn't get the broken windshields. And the yeah. and it, it actually just added, like, a bit of sharpness. Yeah. And when you go through the, uh, like, the mud puddle and the grease or whatever, like, there is a mechanic of, like, change the uh, weight to the back or whatever so you can see through the window because you got to make a sharp turn. Yep. Whereas on the regular, that's not even a factor, of course. Interesting. It just killed me every time. <clears throat> You know, because I couldn't see. And but anyway, yeah, that game is fascinating. It's extremely deep. You have really thinking about like, what is it trying to teach me? What is it trying to make me do? What does it mean change the weight from the front to the back? You know, that that's, that probably has a lot to do like that, where his uh, rig comes in handy. What about the headphones, really Tristan? Handy. Uh, My rig comes in handy with what? With um, everything he's talking about, you know, rally. adding weight. Uh, to the front and back and yeah so where where that comes in and this is where I was saying that like um I, I mean I'm gonna do a video on this I'm gonna do a wheel a, a wheel review or a wheel recommendation uh, guide for people but the oh, cool well, I'm is, in the market for one so that's especially oh, for well then me. then you know then, you, then we should talk dude because uh okay. oh yeah they're they're out Tristan they're like 40 bucks uh, go to the website google it anyway really? sorry guys oh man um sorry and I was saying about back about about the wheel though um Force feedback, it, like that's one of the big reasons why you would get force feedback because it's not just oh it's fun it like shakes it's no the whole point is that it like it'll tell you it gives Allows you information you you're losing track yeah it and, gives yeah. you info that you cannot cool. that it's very hard for games to tell you visually like your controller will vibrate and you'll like so if you like say you like lose traction then they'll try to like a lot of times the the vibration will like cut out because you're trying to they're trying to like give you the sensation that it's like now it's smoothing it's smooth because you're sliding but it's very hard like to tell you what's happening whereas like, you play dirt with a a wheel and you feel the grooves of the road you can feel it like mm. trying to pull out of your hands right but you can feel like you can feel when the wheel goes loose before you can see it on course so you just become a better yeah. driver because you have that information and it just feels cool and if you're like into and if you're really into like uh drifting you just can't compete because it's like in real life you can like go into a drift and then let the wheel center auto center itself you know let it slide through your hands oh i see where you're coming from yeah exactly yeah, yeah. Ah. neat ah damn grim ah. just trying to try not to do that <laughs> Yeah, because the dirt game is like, you know how this is sort of about cars. That's about the road. That's the, the, the difference. That's why that's a different racing game. It's about a different kinds of uh, road, Yeah, well, I mean, you're racing against the clock, right, in a game like dirt. But there is yeah. online stuff. You play Rallycross. Um, the big difference with, like, a game like dirt and a game like this is dirt is just, it's, it's a sim game. So it's very, yeah. it's all hardcore physics. Like, it does not... It is not forgiving at all. Whereas this game, it's very forgiving. Like you, there's lots of sliding and, like you know, like for example, if you took corners in GT Sport like we do here, like where you just jam, yeah, like, oh, where you just no, jam, you where, you, where you just yeah. jam, where you just jam on the fucking brake and then hit the gas, like in GT Sport or in dirt and stuff, you know, there's this thing called weight transfer, and you will lose yep. your fucking yeah. shit if you try just mashing the brake like that. The car will wig out. At that speed, like you know, if you tried to turn it all, the tapping mm -hmm. method works here, though. On yeah, like GT Sport and stuff like that. Which it really shouldn't, actually, <laughs> because they're ABS Red. cars, right? <laughs> it shouldn't make a difference. But at least, but you are throttling the brake, or which is still, you know, it still just gives you a little. It does give you more control, but you got to be careful because if you say brake and then halfway through a corner you like let go of the brake in a game like GT Sport, or you know any uh, sim game. That weight transfer all of a sudden like yeah. gets tosses you. Whereas in a game like this, it really just it really just feathers the brake. It doesn't actually like swing in. Oh, okay. But then you know then you've got the complete other side of like the of shit, which is like Need for Speed, where it's drifting <laughs> is actually it's actually like rail drifting. Like it actually like clicks into a slide, right? And it doesn't matter what you do, it's in that drift. 
There's a car in here that's like a little race car, and it's like fast, but it's super, super squirrely and slippery, and I can't remember what it's called, but I tried to drive it the other day, and I thought, well, this might be good if you were good at driving, you know. You could figure out how Ferrari to control FXX. this. It might be really fast. Yeah, I think so. But, man, that thing is like, Woo! you know, you have to, you know, I sat there and spun out in a circle just <laughs> trying to figure out how to go in a straight line. That uh, that dune buggy is pretty uh, pretty fun if you can uh, if you can manage to control it because it's got some pretty sweet drifting. Yeah, I was riding that. It was super fun. What should I? Which which car? Nobody listen to this but me. Which car should I use that would be the <laughs> overpowered <laughs> car that I could easily get an advantage? Like depends it, depends on the course. Uh -huh. Like uh, that okay. that road course that we were racing. Uh, joystick Damn. definitely definitely had the. Uh, like the one that went through uh, twisting and turning through the t through the town, joystick definitely yeah. had the advantage on that with that Caterham. Ah, uh, right, huh? Because it's all acceleration and uh, turning. Like it tops out at like 120. Yeah, I like that thing. Did Shed come in first place again? Yes, he did. Nah, not by much. much. <laughs> no, I, fucked, I, I, I screwed up a corner and I could see that Ferrari just ripping at my tail. <laughs> I knew who it was, too. <laughs> Liv, Liv does that a lot. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Jay just likes to come at me from behind. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, um... <laughs> I gotta go play firewall, guys. <laughs> no, let's just climb out like that, dude. That's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Enzo. All right, I'm going for uh, this. Missed that comment. Hold on for a second. <laughs> What's up, kitten? How you doing? Hope you're having a good evening. Thanks, you too. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> 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 Just messing. We are playing some uh, Drive Club in VR tonight. Um, let's see. Yeah, that Ferrari FXX is... Uh, awesome if you ever play that in a sim game like if you ever go to like project cars 2 or a set of corsa oh, yeah. that thing is just Phew! like it it has just yeah. grip grip for days that's squirrely as hell on here is it well well i'm about to find out no you go you went for that value zoom. i had oh no i definitely want for a ride man uh this uh drive club handles really really well it's uh really light actually um, I say if there's any game that may give you uh, a Fuck little you. bit of a. Uh, I see what you're driving there, Grim. Turns. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was yeah, waiting for that. My new Ferrari. Basic you know, car. Crash crash into me. Just a regular car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> give me your help when you're out there. Give me your help. Rob, the gas pedal's on the right. <laughs> hey, I was never fine until they crashed into me. Dude, you're driving a Ferrari at 30 miles an hour. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah, oh, that was cool. I just drove through a uh, smoke trail there, uh, Chris. Ooh, this car is neat, though. Yeah, uh, uh, you be careful. I'm gonna, cool gonna start. I'm gonna start throwing mushrooms behind me. <laughs> Which kind? Not that kind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh Wipeout man. is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. I recommend yeah. playing it flat, probably, for like oh, an yeah. hour or two. You know, no. so you can get used to how the Don't controls will feel. Don't listen to Joystick. I, I never had it. More like no, no, 10 it, minutes or so? Just, just go straight in. <laughs> man, yeah, I'm in a super Ferrari, and I can't beat Grim in a Fiat 500. Oh, see, <laughs> yeah, I just got him. See you later, Grim. The one that guy thing, that thing is time. pretty powerful, man. He yeah. was keeping up with me during Just, the, I was gonna say, during you the event and that thing. Don't talk shit about that car, because then he'll start beating yeah. you down, and you'll cry tonight. <laughs> I know. I had, I had to book an appointment with my psychologist after the last time I raced with him. <laughs> A realistic Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, shit. 
That that's, would be so that's fun a, to have. You, a, can you imagine, Mario man? Party, you know what we yeah. need? Twisted Metal in VR. We were oh just talking God, about that last yes. night. I can't remember who was just saying. They were all like, that yeah, was me. Had to be on. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was Jason. <laughs> because, yeah. because they just announced today that uh, uh, David... Uh, what the hell Jaffe. is his name? Jaffe. 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 Yeah. He, he announced that he's... Uh, they're, well, they're teasing the fact that there's another game coming, but it sounds like it's going to be a standalone game about uh, Sweet Tooth. Oh, oh, oh shit, nice. They're not saying what it's going to be. He said it's not going to have cars, but it's going to be about, like, him. Ah. That Weird. sounds really cool. Jaffe's last game was drawn to death, so he needs a hit, but... Yeah, well, that, um, that, he could have done so much more with that. It was good, but he uh, could have done so much more with Yeah, that. when you played it, you could tell it was the same guy who did Twisted Metal. It just didn't come together. Yeah, mm. yeah. So, yeah, who was that and somebody else, the... Echo the Dolphin guy has been hitting everybody up too. That would be interesting if he makes something for VR. Yeah, uh, Jupiter and Mars are going to beat him to it though. Yeah, yeah but still, uh, he could still do. That was way more deep than I think Jupiter and Mars might be. Well, we'll see. Maybe. But I, I mean, Echo was a. That was the first game I played that was like super creative around that time, and I thought that was really interesting. Genesis. Like, That's uh, when I played. It was a Genesis yeah. game, wasn't it? Only. Um, I think I think yeah, I yeah. think it was. Yeah, it's yeah. Genesis. It's like a game. Yeah, I saw you around the corner at the last second. There's a, depending on the age of you guys in the group here, there was a game that I I played that I loved uh, called like the very first Warhawk. That came out on the oh, PS1. Yeah, yeah. PS3. And I would, and I would not oh, PS1. PS1. Yeah, you're talking about the PS3 one. The PS4. I remember that. The PS1 though was where it was at. Enzo Ferrari. PSX and, it was PSX. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There we go. Uh, that would be awesome. That would be. That would make a very cool VR game too. Mm. Well, yeah. The PS One X. The PS Three version kind of ran with it and made it into a multiplayer game, but it wasn't the same. They need to. They need to make. I've said this like just recently. They need to make a uh, Splinter Cell in VR. I know you were saying that. That would be fun. A stealth amazing. Type VR game hey, would be fun. Is Tantrum on one of yours trying to get in with us? Because he's on Drive Club right now playing a time trial. Uh, you can throw him an invite. I yeah. can throw him an invite. Okay. Uh, either one. Here, I'll send. Well, you send him the game invite. I'll send him the party invite. I think I have him. Is he actually Tantrum on here? Oh, yeah, there he is. Yep. Yeah, I've got him. I think that would be absolutely amazing, though. If they had uh, um, Splinter Cell in VR, if you guys ever played it online... <laughs> I know exactly what you're um, talking about. It had, like, the oh, shit... It had the shit... When you were, when you were like... Uh, when you were like the attackers or whatever, uh, for whatever, you know, like the soldiers, it was like kind of... It was very Rainbow Six CG. And then, like, yeah, and then if you were, like, the, uh, whatever, like, the spies, whatever the hell you called them, like, then you were third person, right? And you were... Yes. Mm. Yeah. I didn't oh, actually that like so that well. too much, but the reason, but I was also really into Rainbow Six at the time. And I was just like, this mm. is not what I want. Man, I was kicking ass. Oh, I like oh, the my God. Rainbow Six Vegas. Dude. You could go infiltrate, and it yeah. would, the, the connect would hear you, and then the guy would go in the other door and stuff. Man, Ve I Vegas was my there jam. Is. That's why I like Firewall yeah. so much. Because I was well, like... That's, because that's, why I think, that. that's why I think uh, Splinter Cell would work so well, because if you remember the mercenaries, you couldn't jump or climb anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, you could climb yeah. ladders, but you couldn't jump. You know what I mean? Well, so um, it was very yeah. firewall like in that aspect. And then you know, and, on the spy side, like uh, what you had yeah. to do is um, hack the computers. You know what I mean? So it was just like the hacking in firewall. Man, I guarantee that mm. would blow up, man, if they did it, if they did mm -hmm. it right. Oh, my but, God. But the thing is, is like I don't think anyone's like, you know what I love about firewall? The hacking. I just want to <laughs> yeah. I want to I want a hacking a game. thing, though, it would be fun where you have it. Well, you know, um, well, Red Storm objective. Entertainment, right? That makes the Star Trek and the Werewolves. That's Tom Clancy's company, right? Well, it's Ubisoft, yeah. Which but, is the same but same guys who did Space Red Junkies. Storm, but yeah, but Red Storm, right? That's Tom Clancy's company, Red Storm Entertainment. No, oh, I didn't know. <laughs> I don't know specific yeah. that. Yeah. It is. Ooh, my headset's wigging out here. Oh, there we go. That, that's doing they, that all right, they made before that was uh, whatever. Is Tom Clancy like Rainbow Six and stuff or? Yep. 
Yeah, that's all they made before. They, yeah, he was, these are their first VR titles. Yeah, because Rainbow Six was, uh, or Clancy had Rainbow Six, he had Splinter, they had Splinter Cell, and then they had uh, Ghost Recon. And they had another one too, it was wow. like a, like a, that, um, what you call it, the, um, Isometric perspective, Jeez, but, guys. and it was like a, and it was like a fly, a fl and it was a flying <laughs> game where you had like a helicopter and stuff. They did something like that. Uh, I can't remember what it's called something Hawk. Mm. Star Hawk? No. No, it was a real. It was that more was of a game grounded game. Head. I can't remember what it's called though. No, it didn't really take off, ah. but it was another Clancy Warhawk. game. Yeah. No, no, we're, you, yeah, we were just talking about Warhawk, but no, this is something. Lady Hawk. All right, you're done. <laughs> no, 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 Pop Tart. Mm -mm -mm. Uh oh, wrong turn for me. Hudson Got Hawk. The... Yeah, there you go. Oh. Something like that. Had Hawk in it. Ad hoc. Uh, hawk. Hawk Um, Yeah, Space Junkies actually was pretty good. Um, did you buy it finally? Um, or did you get a review well, code? Just, uh, uh, one of them just uh, said something I was about to mention um, from. Uh, Shookhead's uh, review. You guys should go check that out. Um, Shookhead. Yeah, actually, it, it, it convinced me to. <laughs> it convinced me to go ahead and try to buy it. You know, Did you buy I, it? Well, not try to buy it. Um, not yet. Not it yet. is. I gotta put money on my card. Space Junkies needs more levels, and obviously, a lot of people want different controls. Uh, yeah. But man, it's fun though. It is fun. like oh. once once I kind of sucked it up and like basically stopped having a pity party that I like didn't have the controls I wanted, I, like, started to have a lot of fun with it. I really did. Like, I was like, one more match, one more match! And then when you, like, team up with somebody, like, is it's only two on two, but once you got a buddy and you're sitting there and you're talking, it's pretty fun to, like, strategize. Because we were, like, in some of the big maps, me and this one PC guy, and it was like, he's like, okay, we were, like, we were, like both hovering at the top of, the, like, this level, just, like, covering the entire upper area. And we are just like, okay, left side, left side, and we just, like, we're just ripping on, okay, I'm getting armor. You, you usually you'll, you'll spot nice. me. Sorry, man, I missed that comment. This game feels what? <laughs> it feels happy. Wow, that was. <laughs> oh, I was trying to say it feels it like feels flying at 200 like... miles an hour with your buddies around the world. It's excellent. It does actually, doesn't it? How to put it into a feeling, though? What did you do today? Oh, I That's... went uh, went for a drive with my buddies yeah, who live yeah. in the states. Uh, in our supercars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, 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 we're like zillionaires. Through so India, Japan, Norway, cars. Scotland. Uh, you know, you know the usual stuff. You know? Pakistan. Actually, I, I, I have a full racing rig, actually. What's up, um, Distilled? How you doing? I actually you don't that? love this game with a wheel. I find uh, I do much better with a controller because it's so arcadey. Um, but I'm actually a big sim racer, so I do have ah, a wheel. Oh, we are right there, damn it. <laughs> Third place all night. Well, that's good. Oh. I'm gonna be Bailey. back. I'll, I'll be back. Try to get no <coughs> DNFs, and that's be, about all I can hope for. I'll be back in ten seconds. I gotta get my drink. All right. Jason Bailey. Yep. Right. There you. There you are. Been a long time, man. How are you? Ooh, I'm doing all right. Excellent. Uh, all right. I'm watching another vehicle. I got one more. Then yeah, I got gotcha. <laughs> you. Don't, 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 don't do this anymore, buddy. Last time we gamed him till he broke. So this time when this he is can't be an easy rest. one. <laughs> this can't be an easy one on the. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what that's I was wondering. When you say you said Grim's gonna join, I'm like, uh, uh, okay, uh, <laughs> maybe I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. That'd yeah, be a tough one. <laughs> All right, what do you want uh, for your last one, then? Uh, you know, do that, do the uh, the real pretty one that we all like. The, oh, what is it? It's, it's... You do the mountain one without the tunnels. Oh, the home, home <laughs> side? Yeah, the one with the tunnels. The one with the... Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. There you go. Homestead? Um, Homestead, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, Homestead. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you, you, you caught me. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> as soon as you said that, it's like, man, the tunnels, the tunnels are real fucking nice. <laughs> there you go. I love it. Yeah, they're pretty. It's like, let's race that one. Pretty pretty cool. Cool. Let's race that one, the pretty one. I was like, oh, he's he's yeah. talking about me. He's going to race all over <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Sounds very racy. Bracken. 
Mm. <laughs> 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 Alright, did I unlock any of these other ones? Nope. That's like the fastest car I actually like driving, I guess. Which is which? The, um... Was it Onzi? Onzi Ferrari or something like that? Yeah. Uh, the Enzo? Um, Enzo Ferrari. Yeah. Come on, man. It's his fucking name. <laughs> Enzo at Ferrari is the maker of Ferrari. <laughs> Oops. Yes, you do, Frowny. <laughs> Space Junkies is the perfect way to get your legs yes, back. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. We can do that one next. Ah, oh, what's up, this? <laughs> Boo. This is my new car I just got, so you guys try not to ram into me when I'm going around the corner. Ooh, look at that. Alright, we, we definitely will. Yeah, I was gonna say, no promises. I'm right, gonna especially ram into you now. I mean, you Ooh, weren't doing that especially before. Oh, yeah, this is a neat level. Oh, shit. Oh. Somebody just did ten thousand dollars worth of damage to my, my car. I know, man. <laughs> I just got this car. Ten thousand. Check me. Did you know, did, did you know that the Ferrari? This is years ago, but the Ferrari F50, the headlight on it was twenty five thousand dollars. Oh my god. Jeez. I don't remember where I heard that from, but it was like an official stat of like just showing people like what it costs. Like it's like because they don't make they don't have stock of those things kicking around. It's not like oh yeah, I'll take one of those. Ferrari F50 headlights. It's in the bargain bin. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> you can't go to the U pull at lot and find one. <laughs> oh my god, this is that that straightaway was awesome. I think I got a little bit of a boner going around that straightaway. Yeah, well, I got a lot of air. <laughs> I couldn't control it. I was like lifting off half the time. Yeah, I just a little video game boner, just a little little just a tiny one. Just a little one. Just a <laughs> tiny one. It's a straight boner. Straight away boner? Yeah, straight away boner, yeah. Ooh, that was not a green turn, that should have been red. <laughs> it may not be I green at 250 miles an hour. I think that was yellow. <laughs> I don't think that was green. <laughs> Casually goes AFK. <laughs> uh, just a stream full of uh, little boners. That's, just a <laughs> that sounds really weird when you say it. <laughs> mm. hey, speak for yourself on the little thing. I was gonna say that too, <laughs> man. I also, when he, but when he said a stream full of little boners, all I have is this like picture of this like this little like this little like this little, <laughs> this little fishing oh, river man. with a bunch of little penises sticking out of it. <laughs> well, now you put that picture nice. in my head. Thank you very much. You just distracted him with the boners. I passed him right on, guys. Keep I know. On talking. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a strategy. Ah! I'll get my focus back. I know, right? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I love this level. That groovy purple and orange oh, tunnel yeah. is really cool. Yeah, yeah, it is. That is gnarly, yeah. Groovy. It's groovy, ah, man. Damn it. Oh, Jay, that's too bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Frowny. <laughs> Frowny's like, nice visual. Yeah, really. <laughs> Of all of us sitting around boners? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure that's a great visual for people. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it's the third move we're controller. Ready to, we're just getting ready to play Beat Saber. <sighs> <laughs> we got Beat Blasters coming up Friday. Hopefully that's cool. It's got <laughs> yeah, aim. really, man. <laughs> it's got uh, aim support. <laughs> yeah. Uh, aim support. And future rudder support. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess it does, doesn't it? That'll be interesting to see. Hmm. That would be a fun game if you could kind of stand with your feet on the rudder and some... Well, I guess you can't stand on it. No, but, you, you know, can't stand on it. To me, that'd be fun if you could sort of skateboard <laughs> that game. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine that it would be very... I don't know, that game looks like it might get intense as far as, like, moving. You know what uh, I mean? So, yeah, if the, mu sure you know, left, right, left, if the right music's... Be, so. if, if the music's good in that game, it could be cool. I mean, they're kind of beating, uh, at least to PSVR, they're kind of beating... Uh, um, what's her face? Is, uh, why am I... Um, harmonics. They're kind of beating harmonics to the mm. PSVR with the uh, with the shooting rhythm game, so... We'll see. It's... Uh, I'm trying to... The company that made it, they're like... Uh, 
They did something else that was like decent too. Oh, that's what it is. This is the same guys who did Warcade, Operation Warcade. Oh, okay. okay. That was neat. That so was like, a cool idea. you know, it's not some of like, it's not just some like little Beat indie blaster. studio. Like, yeah, it could be decent. It, it's gonna really gonna come down if the music's any good. Like, it's it sounds like it's gonna be like Beat Saber music, right? Like EDM stuff, but yeah, yeah it's EDM style. It looks like yeah, from the yeah. video that I saw on uh, Steam for it. Yep, but it should be. It could be cool. Should be pretty good. Oh, oh good morning. Man, I want that car. I had someone just jump in from the UK here. He said that it's 6 a.m. where they oh, are. Oh, wow. Oh, good damn. morning. Good evening. Yeah, it's crazy. When we would play uh, Firewall super late at night with, like, Minus and Jason and stuff like that, and I guess Pop-Tarts would probably be there, too, sometimes. And then, like, you'd be, like, yeah. starting to get it, like... They start to get to like three or four in the morning, and then we'd have like uh, Rogue jumping on, and he was like, his kids are coming home from school. It was like, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> That's how you know you run firewall really late. Like the people get on there like Japanese. Or, I was gonna say, you know, you know you're playing English late when you're yeah. like, oh man, it is we, all right. Yeah. We hit yeah, Japanese first, UK yeah. after. Yes, yeah, so that's how it goes every day. Yep. We hit <laughs> we hit an Asian an, an Asian squad one day. Yeah, it was like all their names were like you know the like. Japanese characters. I was like, geez, huh. we need to get off. It's getting late. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Zocatron said we better get our money's worth. <laughs> Jason, who were those creators that we were uh, hanging out with last night that made that cool thing? Are you talking about Lena? No, that was yeah. awesome. Uh, yeah. oh. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, yeah, you're getting gangbang now, Pop Tarts. That was scary. That was cool. Are you talking about the, bat the battle arena, or are you talking about yeah, yeah, the battle those? arena where you were like melee oh. battle and that whole crazy Holy thing? Holy crap! Who ah, just me. Jesus? Who, ah, who, Jesus <laughs> Christ! That's scary. <laughs> that was see now that is a Whoa. VR that is an exclusive <laughs> VR experience where I spun around and all of a sudden I'm yeah. actually looking at Jason. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool, actually. Who's driving the McLaren though? They were Welcome totally back. they they totally spun mm. out in the middle. That was I think Pop Tarts and then you. No, Pop Tarts was driving a Ferrari. Uh, oh no, that, uh, who was that? No, that was Tantrum I think then. I don't recognize the colors on the car. Yeah, yep, that's exactly what was. <laughs> I was going around turn and I get spun around because my back end hit something. Yeah, both of you guys. I had to avoid you. First and then, uh, then all of a sudden, Shug's flipping around. He turned right towards yeah. me, and I'm flying right, right for him at like 150 miles an hour. But, but, like, <laughs> but all of a sudden, I'm all of a sudden I'm rolling backwards and I'm staring at Jason <laughs> face to face. Just like in the movies. Yeah, totally. Dude, at that speed, I would have straight flipped over him, dude, and been done for right there. I'm on a dirt road right now. <laughs> I'm on a Dukes of Hazard TV show right now. Yeah. yeah. You gotta work on your yeehaw, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. Know yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. there you go. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry about you guys seeing the bugs. Oh, God. That was actually pretty good. You just destroyed somebody's. He meant it, man. It's my it inner. Uh, someone's subwoofer just went poof. You just. You gave, Sh you gave Shug a little boner again. <laughs> this, this, uh, you just remind me about the. Uh, 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 the war face. No, he says that's not war face. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a war face. Ah. Show me your war face. Damn it, sure, get back That's here. a real scream. <laughs> I think I uh, I put that clip on the intro to my honor and duty review. <laughs> yeah, you did. You don't scare me. Work on it. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody has never seen Full Metal Jacket, you need to go do yeah. that. Yeah, too. Yeah, you need to. Yeah, so. Yeah, that that dude is exact. What they did in there for boot camp, every uh, you know um, company commander or, or <coughs> drill sergeant says the same fucking line of well, shit. Well, did you know? Do you know yeah. the like? Do you know the trivia on that though? The guy well, the who was the drill was sergeant was a drill job, sergeant. Yeah. He wasn't even an actor. Yeah. He became an actor. He's been yeah. in lots of stuff. He does horror movies yeah. and stuff. But like, yeah, yeah, they just hired him. Yeah, no, he was trying to teach the other guy, the other actor, like yeah. how to do it, and the guy just didn't have the right. instinct. You're right. You're right. That's what him. it was. You know, yeah. yeah, it was like a, it was like a Harrison Ford thing. Harrison Ford was working on the sets in Star Wars when they like needed <laughs> needed a fill in for uh, 
for the for Han Solo, and then he like was like, I can do it. Like he'd done some acting, and then they were like, uh, okay, this this is working. He was in American Graffiti. <laughs> You're right. Lucas's yeah. previous movie, and that was. Yeah, he, he had been under contract under the old studio system. Well, give me but it didn't. didn't work out for him, and he went and became a carpenter. Yeah, he was a, a carpenter. That's what I was saying. He was working on the sets. Um, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So when that all happened, yeah, and he was. Uh, Lucas and Spielberg were like, well, you know, we don't want to use another, you know, Harrison Ford role here, and they really wanted it to be Tom Selleck and so mm, forth. Yeah, I knew that. I think he actually. I'm pretty sure there's end. actually uh, footage of Selleck trying out for the role. I think so. Yeah. I think so. They, that's that was the plan all along, but because of this TV show and oh, some I'm other not thing, sure that out. I've heard that before. Then. But uh, he would have been great in Indiana Jones. <clears throat> but if you get my reference, uh, you know Tom Selleck is uh, uh, sort of Clark Gable, which would yep. have been a good idea. Whereas um, Harrison Ford is Bogart. Yeah. Right. That's a better casting decision in a way, right? It's sort of cross casting, but yeah, that movie works out really <laughs> good for that. Well, they're 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 getting ready to start shooting the fifth Indiana, so we'll see uh, we'll see who wow. they pass the torch to because they have to. Yeah. And they've got to be able to. Hey, book. man, you can't even. <laughs> Come on, man. That's for sure. <laughs> a lot of people threw I mean, around a lot of people threw around Chris Pratt, and I really think he'd make a good oh, wow. Jones. Uh, um, he's not he's not as he's not as suave. He needs somebody a little more suave for Jones. I think he he's could good because he's got the right sense of humor kind yeah. of thing. Though, he's got too. the he he's got the swagger. Out. He could do it. No. The only problem is he'd be so he'd just be Chris Pratt. That's the only problem. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> I know. I Not watched. That. I heard your engine rev up. Are you running manual? Uh no. Nah. No, that's just uh, how the way that car sounds. It has that little farty box yeah. in the back of it. It was like. Brrr. Ooh. Scares the shit out of you if you don't know you're right, he's right next to you. See, the reason I drive the Venom is not so much because I think it's an awesome car, um, even though I do really like it, is it's the only car in the entire game that I think has like a throaty engine to it. Oh, damn. I hit that grass and spun out. Oh, it's cool seeing the spot. Holy fly. shit, balls. Oh, oh no. yeah! Damn, that was cool. <laughs> that was hard. These turns. Yeah, I just mm. sort of used the this railing map as in a, reverse a bumper is... to get around the corner. Is this in reverse already? Because the other version is better. Ooh, no, I... this this is this is just part of one. This is a th three laps on the same thing. I just uh, pop my car up on the track. side. Mm. Jeez, I like got some air and just about took out a light stand. <laughs> oh shit! Woo! My car all of a sudden went to the right. Oh. Oh, I was about to. Hey! I was about to drift that so beautifully. <laughs> I'm getting air off some of these little hills, and it's certain, and it's fuck, it's really squirrely. Oh man, look at that. You can see the guys like, Oh man, that's not the right way to go. I crashed so hard I turned invisible. I think I'm a ghost of the guy that was driving his car. <laughs> you can crash really hard and the whole car yeah. turns invisible, that means you And you're gonna you're ghost. gonna spawn back yeah. in your car and Patrick Swayze's gonna have his <laughs> arms around you. Yeah, really. <laughs> you're making a pot between your legs. No, you are <laughs> you, you are the, you are the pot. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, god. Is it, you either get you heard the Almond Brothers coming in. Yeah, I was gonna say know. you either get that reference or you don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Passion that wall again. So, somebody watching the stream at some later date is gonna be like, dude, he died. It's not <laughs> fucking <laughs> 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 Yeah, but that was way before he died. I mean, you know. oh, I wasn't even thinking about that. Jesus, <laughs> he wasn't. I don't even. I don't even remember the movie. I don't, who was the ghost? Was it him? 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, yep. Demi Moore was his wife. Yeah, but she was the one that was alive, right? Yeah. 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 Like and I. Whoopi Goldberg was yeah. a psychic. Uh, uh, what she's an animal whisperer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she was the fake psychic that ended up being yeah, she real. Was kind of a, yeah, yeah, she was kind of a con artist until he yeah. kind of came into her life. God, that was such a good movie. I was so afraid of, like, little demons oh, eating oh, me for being oh, bad. Geez. Like little <laughs> shadow creatures yeah. for so many years. What's up, gentlemen? What's hey, up, what's up? What's up? Jared. Yeah, we're at it again. I see that. I'm running a send me a new one. They yeah, promised to take, a, they take away our server, and then yeah, we're like, cool. "Wow, but we really like that game now." <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we know we won't always have it. I got it. <laughs> Play for like an hour. Oh, oh son of God! But at least they're giving us a year, like another year with this game. Yeah. Like, like I said, by in a year yeah. from now, I mean, they we will be hearing things about PSVR two. Like people will be looking. Mm -hmm. To the next yeah. thing, right? It, That's what I'm but, saying. We should have another racing online game by then. Well, you hope. Or I would they hope. Yeah. They should. They should either keep it at a, on permanent sale right now, or just make it free until it's done. Well, they they did do it free though, right? It was a PS Plus game. Um, yeah, well, that was a lightened down version of just the regular Drive Club, though. No, there was actually the actual VR. Yeah, the Drive Club VR was free for a bit. It was a PS Plus game. No. With Plus. No, it was never a PS Plus really? game. Really? <laughs> I don't think yep. it was. Am I yeah. imagining things? It was it cheap. I mean, it yeah. was $5. It, it was oh, Star Blood Arena, different. Here They Lie, and uh, Rigs were the only three that they've done oh, so Oh, you know, I'm thinking of Rigs. That's mm -hmm. what it is, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the problem with racing games and PSVR is that the f physics engines in racing games are actually really demanding. Mm. That's why they're hard. Mm. It's a fr and it's a frame rate thing, right? Like I'm actually shocked that they made dirt. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna send yeah, it this way. Yeah, um, oh, sorry. Right, rally just uh, flies along, like. Taking off grimmers. Yeah, yeah, I gotta. Right, hey, man. <laughs> yeah, Thanks for joining us, man. So is, that was all I could handle. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, man. so no, hey, gotta, um, gotta rebuild gotta my rear legs. Data, though. Yeah, All no, right, I, I will. totally understand. Okay. All right, thanks because for joining. You remember right? we were talking about doing right. a T-shirt and stuff before? Yeah. Oh All yeah. This came out. Yeah. So let's get going on that. So All talk right. to me when right. you. Well, at your convenience, <laughs> sir. There's All a right. secret conversations. Yeah, I'll be. I'll be. I'll be. Uh, yeah, All I'll right. be. Yeah, this end. I gotta. I gotta right, start give me one second. I just need to grab a drink of water. I gotta start getting used to VR again. So. All right, on. All right. Later, man. Yeah. So thanks. Thanks for having me. Talk to you guys later. Later. Thanks for dropping in, man. Right, later, see you, buddy. So glad to see him online. Yeah. Wait, was he out of VR for a while? That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, he had a health up, uh, scare and oh, uh, really? And so forth. Yeah. So he, um, yeah, I'm, uh, um, yeah, uh, he had a heart attack. Everybody Holy installed. shit! Matter of, it's oh a matter God. of common knowledge, so I'm not. Yeah, yeah, he did. No, isn't he? We he's just so worried Grim, about him. Grim's right. pretty young, though, isn't he? Yeah, he's thirty something. Yeah. Yeah, and fuck, that's crazy. Man. Everybody, and oh, he's man. a very excellent person, and everybody just you know. Wow, I didn't know that. He's friends of everybody, but yeah, he's really uh, worrisome and everything. So I'm so glad this is the first time I've seen him back on. That's awesome. That's good. Man. That sounds like he's doing better, but yeah, he's one guy. If he says, "Hey, I I gotta go, I gotta take it easy," I'd be like, "Yes, please do that." Anybody else would be like, "Oh, come on, you got mm -hmm. one more." Yeah, let's go. You know. Yeah, yeah, he's got so those like, limits. You don't, you don't even need to explain, buddy. Like, as soon as you said it, I'm like, mm -hmm. "Yeah, don't, don't, don't oh, go. Yeah. yeah, relax. This is, this is a tough one on the heart. This gets you pumping yeah. pretty quick on this one." <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh man. Yeah, this game with a, a good sized lobby is is a fucking riot, man. Yeah, that's that's where this that you're, no totally that's where this game that, that's where this I found a new love for this game getting on with a bunch of uh, a bunch of friends. It really is. It's just a different beast. Like it's fun on your own, but you like completely don't even <laughs> you don't even pay attention to the like blurry graphics once you're in with a bunch of friends. No, oh, no, no, at all. 
Well, think about this way. At 200 miles an hour, it would be blurry like that yeah. anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah, flying, just don't flying have past you that fast. They look, <laughs> I always thought they were good. Like, you know how there's like a sort of thing you might say, like racing game graphics? Because, you know, it's going to fly past you really fast. So you're, yep. you know, going to allow for that. You know, I think this is good race. Look at that waterfall right there. Come on. That looks amazing. One thing I really notice about driving games in VR, which I would say is probably some of the most amazing moments I've had in VR, that every time it gets me, is it in racing games specifically, when you pass another car and you feel the size, like you feel the scale of passing mm. like a real yeah. car. And like you're in yeah. your and you're in your cockpit, so then you look out and you see a car and you feel its size. That is something that is just so uniquely VR to feel that like that grounded immersion because your brain knows what a car looks like. You know, it's mm -hmm. like it's different than like a ship in E Valkyrie or something. Like you that car, like you know what that feels like in real life next to you and to sit inside of it. And it's just the immersion is just unbelievable. Yeah. Like when this giant oh, yeah, car is yeah. cruising by you. Oh, or absolutely. even the, kid, the sounds. Kid. The graphics yeah. don't really matter. It's the immersion. Seriously, when it comes, especially wow. when it comes to. I mean, the graphics help. I'm not gonna lie. When I when I jump into a racing game that's like starting to get in close to that photorealism, and we've got like a larger field of view so that I can't see the outside, like see the edges of the mask, it's gonna start to get sick. <laughs> yeah. You are literally going to be in a supercar. I mean, and we're only like years away from that. Actually, I've heard. Well, I've heard even project cars like too is ridiculous in VR. Yeah. It's like you're wearing a helmet right now. Think of it that way. Like yep. you're wearing a helmet in your yeah, car. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Technically, we are in the game, anyways. Yeah. Ha ha ha. I see. Oh where you're... man. Ah oh, damn! I didn't know that it was gonna be so quick. I was coming back with you guys here. You're probably used to hearing that a lot, aren't you, Joystick? <laughs> <laughs> damn! I didn't know it was gonna be that quick. Oh, I just got a golden trophy for doing <laughs> what? I just had a <coughs> or something. Who bent this railing all out of? Very <laughs> cool. <laughs> to the left, it's all bent out of shape. The railing. But you get the force feedback with that, though. That's the problem, right, Moose? Um, although what I did, my first wheel on the PS4 uh, was actually uh, the Thrustmaster T500 Moose, which was actually the official uh, Gran Turismo racing wheel on the PS3, and that was a beast. It had, it even had better, fe uh, stronger fe force feedback than the uh, the current T three hundred. But it had, uh, it started to have some uh, issues with um, compatibility on newer games. Mm. Oh, the, yeah, you got the old G twenty seven. That's another PS three uh, wheel there. Yeah. Yeah, Moose. I'm gonna be doing a. I'm gonna do a. a, a, a uh, I'm gonna do a wheel a wheel buyer's guide here. Pretty soon, I'm actually oh, been starting so you, to collect information because I used to be. I, um, I, I was pretty obsessed with uh, the, with the racing stuff, so I might as well spread the knowledge. Cool. Absolutely, dude. I want to buy one of those, so yep. I am interested to hear what you have to say. Yeah, and you can hit me up if you got other questions too. I uh, okay, like I said, cool. we're there on uh, racing wheels and uh, racing seats. Um, even if you're on a budget too, I've got like there's lots. I got lots of, lots of recommendations for how to do it on a budget. I actually have some bread if I want to spend it on that. Yeah, well, I dropped three grand on my <laughs> racing rig, great, right? and oh, did you? Wow. Well, uh, but again, hard to... but I didn't start. I didn't just drop three grand. Yeah. That's the thing. It's, that starts to add up, right? Like it's like I bought a wheel, and I was like, I really want a wheel, and I got oh, a okay. and I got a good deal on a wheel. And it's like, well, I need something to mount this to, and no. like I I don't want it on a just like it was too, the force feedback is just too strong to just put the wheel on a desk or something. So oh, exactly. That's what right? I was thinking. So then I bought, I bought um, like one of the big manufacturers of uh, racing seats out there is called PlaySeat, and PlaySeat makes something called the PlaySeat Challenge, which is like only like it's like 150 bucks or not, uh, something <laughs> like that, and it's like, but it looks like a lawn chair. You open it up, hmm. but when you're sitting in it, it looks it looks and feels like a like racing seat, and it's actually it's an amazingly well made. A neat little design uh, mm. that like that folds That's right, cool. and and the wheel like and the wheel and pedals and mounted. It yes, exactly. It folds up. You can put it mm. in a closet, That's right? That's cool. But unless you're rocking a, a a Logitech, where the gear shift mounts right to the base of the uh, wheel of the of the wheel, you you pretty much can't have a shifter. So that's why I ended up going to like I went to a, like a pro 
uh, a pro play seat, which like had like uh, all okay. like had like a real chassis basically, right? And you and I could mount shifters to it and stuff, because I have I have a shifter mm. uh, in that I have in seven speed gate, and then I've got a second shifter that I've turned to sequential and I use that as a handbrake, and I have both of those mounted to mm. the to the rig. You can't do that though if you don't buy like you know a bigger a bigger seat. But mm. and then I bought a different wheel, and then I bought a thrustmaster, or uh, I bought a thrustmaster wheel for the Xbox, and it all starts to add up. Mm. Then wow. you can buy different rims, and it just becomes it becomes oh. an obsession. Oh, wow. This is why I can't go PC, because then I'd just like I'd be living in a <laughs> cardboard box with my PC. Yeah, yeah. Oh, with a really geez. good computer and a bunch of nice equipment, but still be a box. Ah, You'd just... be living in a, in a house made of the boxes that all that oh, stuff shit. came in. <laughs> It's a PlayStation button. Damn it. <laughs> I, was, I was watching uh, Chris there and slammed into a damn wall. Yeah, Moose, I'm lucky. I didn't, I've never had any problems with uh, VR sickness. Although, when this uh, when Drive Club came out on launch, uh, launch day, uh, it had the frame rate was not quite as smooth, and it definitely uh, could be a bit of a, ro a vomit rocket for some yeah. people. It gave me a headache. Yeah. That was about it. Like the uh, the demo disc, I think still has the old version of Drive Club on it, and a lot of people are like, oh, that was that was horrible, right? Yeah. But <laughs> then, that. but what a lot of people don't know is that the uh, the team that made Drive Club VR had already been disbanded. Uh, like the Drive Club team had been disbanded, Evolution Studios. Um, but then Sony brought them back together for a for a, like a, basically a short term project to up upgrade Drive Club VR because originally they're like they thought mm. they were going to have GT Sport. At launch. Right. Mm. Well, I've never played this course before. That was an awkward transition there. Um, yeah, and then, uh, so they brought them back to like make it like you but know more maybe. more polished. And they did give it a pro patch, which mm. a lot of people don't oh, know. Okay. It tightened it up a little yeah, bit, but I the big. About that. But I the was, big. Uh, I thought it got that. Yeah, the big thing it did though is like tighten the visuals up a little bit, but mainly it smoothed out the frame rate. Mm. And now I don't feel anything playing this, like at all. Like it feels super comfortable. Oh wow, that view! Oh wow, that Isn't was that nice. something. Yeah, beautiful. That yeah, cool. um, detached was the only game that ever made me sick. That anti-gravity <laughs> oh, one, and then that, you know that didn't just... ma that didn't make me sick. That made me smile. <clears throat> Oh yeah, god! I and I, it, though, yeah. I, pu I put it on full astronaut mode, and I just spun. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, and I and just kept like, whoa! Good race there, tantrum. If if anybody watched me, I was just like, woo! I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm working, working, I'm working on a video, and I'm doing. Uh, it's gonna be my my <coughs> top my top ten holy shit moments in PSVR. Yeah, there you go. And like, and, you know, and not not just best games because that necessarily might not be the same thing. But you yeah, know, those those I moments, about those though. moments where you were like, oh my god. Yeah. And uh -huh. detached, detached would be one of those. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, totally we're gonna hit that, that uh, co-op at some time, Shug. The what? If you. <laughs> Did you say you want me it's to prolapse? Problem. No, he wants to do the co-op or something. Oh. I was gonna say, speaking of speaking of co-op, if you watch Preach when he was first streaming that, that was me just flying by going, <laughs> just flying by him constantly. <laughs> that was good times, so though. That was pretty funny. Yeah, man, I still remember like detached and I like that first moment where you're like, okay, I can I think I get these controls. And then yeah. all of a sudden you just push <laughs> off from that space station. And I had like a slight spin to me, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And you see, <laughs> yeah. and you see like the sun, and you see that sun like crest the, the the like the meteor. I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> freaky, dude. That shit, the game's scary. Oh, it was That's awesome. A really fun one. And I sat uh, up and, uh, on a, a high thing with my feet, not touching the ground, like on my yeah. exercise bias, <laughs> on the highest setting of my seat. So I really felt like I was Ooh, the whole time. Get you a little jolly jumper, and you could just sit there and hang in that. Yeah, I, you know, <laughs> if I could, I, I could just about invent that in here, you know, like put some yeah, bungee it's, cords it's and be like, dong, 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 dong. It's, it's called a sex swing. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they make those already. Oh, all right. Available at sexswings.com. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know how many of you ever ever caught like the the, the like big time screw up that I did uh, on Twitter a couple weeks ago. Um, I posted no, a, I post it? I posted a video 
um, or I meant to post a video uh, for Nintendo Labo because they it was like uh, gameplay for their VR, and my and my and I ah. and I so I tweeted it out and I was like, I'm like the new Nintendo Labo. I'm like it looks like it has some pretty cool ideas, guys. You should check this out. And I'm like and I'm like the the VR garage is specifically uh, really cool. And the VR garage is like where you can make your own VR shit, right? And I was like, oh, like that. and I and I and, <laughs> damn it, and I. <laughs> And I hashtagged it. I hashtagged it Nintendo. Hey Everett, I hashtagged it Nintendo, and uh, and I posted it. And it's like, and I started getting some weird comments on it. And I was like, ah, oh, I have no idea what they're getting at. And so I just, it didn't matter. And it was like 24, 36 hours later, and I woke up and I looked at my phone, and Ryan from the VR Grid made a comment, <laughs> and I was like, uh oh, I think I know what I did. And I went to my oh, video yeah. and I clicked on the link that I had posted. And I had accidentally posted on a link that my brother-in-law had given me that I had actually posted to our PSVR group joystick. And what it was was a video for the new uh, Fleshlight that's coming out. <laughs> Except it's, it's, and what, oh, no. and it, and it actually, it has like, it, and it like actually has like a, it has a piece that actually goes like up and down. It's mechanical and it actually like, it basically it jerks you off with like a up and down thumping <laughs> motion, but like the first two minutes of the commercial for it are like an animated video of like I a like that references being there. Of a, <laughs> exactly of, of a of like a spaceship that had like a giant penis on the end of it docking with a space station. So it looked like an, it looked like a video game. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like I'm like did I'm like and I hashtagged uh, Nintendo too. Some somebody's like yeah, wow this this oh, Nintendo no. Labo this this cardboard stuff's getting out of control. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, that's, that's amazing. My wife and I were laughing so hard in bed that we were both just sitting there crying and farting and laughing. It was so bad. <laughs> that, that's that's their new lineup. The Nintendo the Nintendo on there. Yeah, that's 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 how Nintendo's gonna like absolutely take the world by storm, right? Just total 180. Nintendo going Wii. to sex toys. You like that that uh, scale that you could lean on and play games? Oh, yeah. You're gonna love well, the it would make the Nintendo. Nintendo it would give the Nintendo Wii a whole new meaning, though. Yeah, really. Woo! Oh, you did the, yeah, the VR <laughs> with one of those little automated seats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pumping seats, or whatever those are. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about, guys. I know you're bullshitting right now. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> the, the machines that they put dildos on that pump, like oh, an yeah. actual like, automated kind of deal. Ah. Just imagine that with a Nintendo or something like that. Yeah, VR just a, be a, that would a be insane for new P no oh, a new a no, new Sony yeah. peripheral. And you want to get your girlfriend into VR? There you go. Yeah, <laughs> I, always thought, girlfriend. I, always, yeah. I, I always thought my move controller smelled funny. <laughs> really, oh. man. How's your headset these days? Oh, this, right. Hopefully, it doesn't have that anymore. <laughs> what are you talking about? What it smells like? Poop? Yeah, I remember that. Remember. Like, <laughs> that was really, that was really disturbing. I couldn't understand. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't find the source. <laughs> totally underrated, man. It's a lot of fun with friends. Kitten has returned from your cat nap. Mm. I think I just did that. Yep. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. Well, I think this is a pretty good car. No, wait. Which one? Go for this. Well, I Kona Seg? It was. I'm changing to. I'm gonna go to the Kona <laughs> Seg. <laughs> it's only like. Um, 1.5 million dollars, the Koenig Z. Psh, oh, that's it. Nothing. Nothing like that. You know what You know what movie I actually kind of liked was the Need for Speed movie. I used to love those games when they used to be like, man, you think you're rising up the streets in your car? This race is for pink slips, man, or whatever, like, <laughs> they were like, um, with a bandana on their head and stuff, and you know, the early ones, like, Sweet, this. We're just on look, a street just looking at this new driver in town. This uh, this car I'm driving, the Venom. It's got like a giant speaker in the passenger seat side, like right where the feet would go. That was awesome. <laughs> I can see it's like a Rockford Fosgate. 
<laughs> I can see the logo on the speaker. Get out of here, Pop Tarts. Get your car out of there. Five yeah, take it. In it, man. <laughs> exactly. Get that Ferdy car out of my face. I don't want. I, all I can hear so is the whine like of that Ferrari when I'm behind it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all you hear when you try to be on that car. Yeah. Diz will see what I'm talking about. Yep. <laughs> Are you in the Ferrari too, Jay? No, I'm in the. I'm in the uh, Caram. Cool. Oh, I really took that corner like a moron. <laughs> this is really a fun car to drive, though. It really drifts, really. Well, we are in Japan. It should You should have a good drifting car, I guess. Tokyo Drift. I actually really like that movie. Yeah. I I think I'm uh, I think I'm definitely Ooh, in the minority. That's one of my favorite uh, Need for, or uh, Fast and oh, Furious no. movies. Oh, no, I, I love that one too. I love me some corny movies in general, like you know, like you know what I mean. Like I, I like to eat some popcorn. With that transition. You know, movie. You know, movie I really actually liked that I saw a little ago that I thought was gonna be a pile of shit was Pacific Rim Two. I really enjoyed oh, that. Oh really? Oh, I'll check that out. Big bunch in 3D. of 3D. Yeah, it totally in 3D. That's what I was watching it in. Ooh. Yeah, it's awesome in 3D. Because you can really feel the scale all the time. I don't, but I've got I have a really I, yeah, I've got a really nice 4K 3D TV. So oh, the, the 3D the 3D is a little bit the 3D is a little bit better in that on the TV, but but I love that I love that PSVR has given like 3D movies like a bit of more life to them. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. See, I had Is only it? bought a. What about? Oh. Oh uh, um, no! Damn I can't it. Plus, I hit a wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that was actually one of the movies I bought just because it wasn't in 3D. And you know how that is, Chris. Like, yeah. whenever you find a movie in 3D, you're just like, Yeah. I'm buying it. I don't care what it is. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I, I've. Uh, yeah, I own a lot. And I own a lot of 3D. I collect movies, so I own a lot of 3D movies. I pretty much own just about anything that was decent in 3D. Um, even, okay. some, even some there, that weren't. Is there a Doctor Strange um, yep. Blu-ray 3D? Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah I want to get that. Every, that would be every, so cool every Marvel movie since the first Thor has been in 3D. So the first ones were like Thor and then uh, Captain America, the first Avenger, I think it was called, the first one. Those, those, yep. were, the first, those were the first ones. Thor was horrible. Thorable, Thor, <clears throat> Thor was in that in that Thorable. <laughs> Thorable was Thorable. It was one of those first 3D movies where, uh, like, it was during a time period where they were like kind of learning how to do it again, and uh, mm. and like it felt like cardboard cutouts. Ah, weird. Like it had a weird feel to it. Um, but like Captain America was actually pretty awesome in 3D, and then from there on in the Marvel movies have been pretty consistent. Yeah. Some mm. some better than others, but for the most part they've all been good. There's certain movies like uh, Ant Man. I think is like you pretty much you have to watch that in 3D. Ant-Man in 3D oh, is like right, a totally yeah. different movie because you can feel the scale. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I just I just bought a whole, whole bunch of kid movies in 3D actually the other day because they're, they're Yeah, I saw piece. Moana and that was really good in 3D. Animated movies got, are, um, are animated movies yeah. are typically awesome in 3D because yes. they're, because the ant because they're animated, they can push it's much easier for them to uh, yeah. to and like post they, to post yeah. To post uh, <clears throat> translated into 3D, right? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah animators yeah, have been building films on a multiplane camera since like the 40s. In other words, they shoot through panes of glass so they can parallax. You know what I mean? Like so, 3D in animation, like it's it's actually all 3D if you could film it that way. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. But, I ended up getting uh, Mega Mind, Monsters vs. Aliens, oh, Monsters wow, University, great. and. Uh, Hoodwink 2 in 3D the other day. Oh, wow. Oh, I've watched all of those. So, one movie that I bought in 3D uh, last week, actually, that I haven't watched but I heard is amazing is uh, Aquaman. Because oh, be, be, oh, okay. because the whole movie is actually, like, the, basically the whole movie was animated, right? Animated. So, yeah. Yeah. Avatar is still the best, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I agree. That's cool. You know what, um, that uh, Aquaman, um, 
An old girlfriend of mine is an animation director on oh, it. Oh, that was amazing. That's cool. Shiv, the way you just uh, passed me was fucking cool in, was it? in VR. That yeah. was fucking amazing. It looked amazing. Yeah, the, I had a moment with you the, a couple of matches ago where you like, you basically like cut in front of me, but you, your ass like slid across my front view, and it was just so cool to watch that. Like you just see this big <laughs> car slide into view, right? Ooh, that, oh, you messed up my <laughs> drift! Did you see how beautiful that drift was? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he messed it up. It was gorgeous. <laughs> Thank this you a, for the stop. This is a cool course, so I like this. <laughs> I like this one too, yeah. Yeah, this the is like trees and colorful. stuff. Really cool, yeah. This Damn it! Like, it I think Band Bandapur <laughs> in India. Mm. I, I like the way how the ambient light feels. It yeah. really feels that like that the evening. Too. Yeah, they did. Uh, they did they, a nice. They did that sun come through the trees? And stuff, yeah, they, the yellow light. They tried to keep some of the lighting. Yeah. Oh, Diz. The funny thing this is, looks, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh I no! I, I actually, hope you're uh, recording it because that was beautiful. <laughs> How the fuck did you get right back next to me? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I was going 170 miles an hour. He spins out and then he's right next to me. Uh, doesn't make any sense. I was going like 160. <laughs> There's no way in hell you should have been able to catch up with me there. I actually prefer Drive Club VR to the original Drive Club. I actually didn't really like the original Drive Club. Um, Oh, just because I played the mess out of the original. Like, I normally play, uh, like I obviously I've said, I play more, I like sim games and stuff, so the, the first Drive Club didn't do anything for me. But the big thing mm -hmm. about Drive Club 1 that I couldn't stand was the frame rate. I felt that like the, it was only running in 30 frames per second, and I, normally I don't hate that. Like Forza runs in 30 frames <coughs> on console, and I feel that like it played fine, but the way that Drive Club did it drove me crazy. I felt like it, I could feel it choppy, whereas like... Drive Club in VR, because it's VR, it's silky smooth. It's running at 90 mm. frames, right? And I just, yeah. I find that it feels so much better. Plus being in the cockpit, you know. Yeah. I like it. Like, the graphics inside the car are really, you know, like a lot of things in the VR. Like, the gun is really sharp, you know. What's up, Yep. Uh, yeah. Well, it's easy to do stuff that's up close sharp, right? It's the yeah. distance that's uh, difficult for VR. Yeah. Powers of the McLaren. <laughs> oh that oh that drift. Ooh. Was anybody behind me there? That was sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing like horribly, but my drifts are fucking beautiful. <laughs> there you go. Damn, by a whole eleven seconds. And here comes Oh, thanks, Bob. <laughs> really do appreciate it. <laughs> little show for you. Loyalty. Uh, they appreciate you. In the wind. I'm going to save that replay. That was nice. <laughs> you should it. You'll have a lot of me on it in front of you. Yeah, that was... We do like the back <laughs> <Clarence> <laughs> 12C. I'm going to drive that, right? Yeah, oh, it was fun. nice. It was nice, dude. Like, you passed me. Like, you drifted right in front of me. And then right after you drifted uh, in front of me, you slowed down just like a little bit, or I don't know, I sped up, I guess. Passed you right after, and then you passed me. Like we just passed each other probably like six, yeah. or seven times back to back. That was nice. Oh, now I'm gonna chop my new car. Where is it? I'm starting to get used to this uh, car too, so. How you doing this evening, Bala? Hey, where do you find your new cars? Are they in any order at all? <coughs> no, I think they're just in the order that they uh, normally shuffle into. They're s slow to fast. Left to right. Oh, I see. Yeah, Bala, um, we have a year, actually. Uh, oh, in yes. March, they're, they're shutting down the servers, and they're um, actually taking... 
the game off of the PSN in yeah. August. So buy so. it if you need it, if you want it. Because all the, uh, the least the nice thing about this compared to uh, Starblood is that it's like got a ton of offline content, right? It's got like a whole campaign. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. It just sucks because hey, the multiplayer is pretty much what I like about it. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, Bala, if you're uh, looking for a uh, PSVR, man, um, I actually bought one last week, and depending on where you are, dude, I could, I would be happy to sell you the one that I got. I got an extra one, obviously. It's just, it's all packed up in, in my closet right now. It's got a camera, and uh, I'll even give you, I got Astrobot with uh, this bundle, and it's a physical copy. I can send that to you, too, as well. So if you're like seriously uh, wanting a, a PSVR, man, like hit me up, man. I would, I would actually prefer to sell it to a friend because I'm a bit of a, I don't know, a, a oh. OCD, OCD uh, <laughs> crackhead when it comes to cleaning uh, Jesus. and taking care of uh, my um, equipment, so. I'd rather How actually sell it to somebody that's going to take care of it. I use, well, if you're uh, selling oh, it, it doesn't God. matter, does it? Woo! <laughs> um, <laughs> I it use, snuck uh, that ass pen. in there. Oh, okay, yeah, I've been using that too. I just want to wonder about that. Yeah, I use the uh, lens, uh, lens pen for, uh, like, the deep cleaning. But every week, oh. uh, actually... These corners I are brutal. Slow down a little bit. Yeah, they are. I slowed it down a little bit, but I also wiped down my headsets three times a week. Uh, yeah, that's necessary. Has anybody, that's necessary. Um, has, has anybody used the uh, covers or the, the, the protecting, the lens protector yeah. covers? I have, I have lens. Whole thing I have, I have, I have oh, lens Shug. protectors. Oh, okay. Shug does. Uh, I'll go look at it. I'll go yeah, watch that. Yeah, I did a review for lens protectors. They're awesome, man. Okay. Uh, the ones I have the okay, ones I'm from. Le I have the ones from Lens Lab. I think they're about 30 or 40. Okay. I can't remember the exact price. I think they're like 40 bucks. But they, uh, Yo, they, did, they, nice. they literally just, hey, hey bud. Hey. They, they literally nice just, thing. they just click in over top of your, uh, your existing lenses. Oh, and shit. Okay. Shug, you have those? Yeah, Are I they, do. Are um, yeah. any good? Yeah, you should go watch my yeah. review. You should go watch the review. Okay, yeah, I'll go watch it. Now <laughs> no, hit that okay. like I must have just too. missed that. Okay, for sure. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to. Uh, okay. It's like a month or two ago. I'm very interested in those. Yeah, no, they're, they're, uh, they're awesome. It's a really good review. They are. They yeah, are. And they're, good review, man. They are. They are yeah. awesome, though. They click in. You don't even know they're there. They actually improve the image slightly because uh, they they help with the contrast a bit because they're better lenses, and uh, uh, and uh, they're awesome. The, the the shitty thing though is that uh, the PSVR ones that they make, they're they're just lenses. Like they're just protective lenses, and they're awesome. They work sure. great. But if you're a PC guy, which I know you have too, you can get. Yeah. Uh, you can also get uh, prescription your your prescription lenses. put into them. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Ah. Sauce has got that. Wow. Cool. Okay, that might be worth it. I, That's yeah. amazing. I, I actually. noticed I have bad eyesight, but I don't yeah, wear glasses. Right. And see, I do have glasses. I'm probably going to be soon. And I've scratched the shit out of my uh, PSVR with them. Well, my rift sucks because yeah. there's no little nozzle to move the thing away from your face, so it's like it's glued to your face. Do, like do, if you have glasses, you're fucked. Does the so, rift? Does the rift not have? Uh, you can't adjust the uh, distance on the lenses. Not because, really. Like, I mean, how come the gear, the either, gear VR allows you? It has a dial on the gear VR. It's either glued to your face or oh, oh, the lenses. The yeah. Lenses. I thought you were talking. Yeah. No. There's an IPD slider okay, on the bottom. Okay. There you go. Yeah. See that, 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 oh, damn yeah. tantrum. I cannot believe that yeah. P, that PSVR did not put an IPD slider on. Well, now the Rift S is doing what the PSVR did. The same exact. Get thing. rid of it. They're yeah. doing away with the IPD slider. Oh, that's, really that's what they're talking about, right? They're going with uh with a uh, software instead of the uh, physical yeah. yeah but at least there's it's a software version of it <laughs> and it's gonna be good like the psvr is pretty decent I and mean, it's probably gonna be better than that so we'll see well sony sony doesn't the, have the anything IPD like that range for the yeah this is actually Whatever their better IPD than what is people on think playstation it's diff it's yeah it's not play quite IPD. yeah i mean if your ipd is very oh. extreme like in the low 50s or the high up in mm. the 70s yeah, the rift yeah. ain't for that ain't for you, but it's very good. I hear it, it fits a lot of. No, I mean I'm the, like the a people reviewed it. I'm like a 57, but the rift only goes down to a 58, mm -hmm. and yeah. like the rift S is a 58 and a half. But we're talking eye oh. dis we're talking eye distance, right? What I want yeah. is the ability yeah. to people adjust are, it yeah. for like nearsighted and stuff, right? And the Gear mm -hmm. VR had a slider that, that would actually available. adjust your would adjust the. Like, uh, like that's what I'm looking for. Like yeah, the actual the focus. Last position. Yeah. yeah. 
What should be great is back, you yeah. wouldn't need glasses. That's what I'm just, saying. You would think everything would already be like. The piece know? of shit Gear VR has a little dial. I just put it on my face and I click it a couple times and I'm it's in focus. A little flip. Wow. How is that not a standard? There's got to be a reason. There's well, got to be something there. You know what it's got to be? It's got. It, it has to be this. Is that with the Gear VR, you have these lenses that are basically oh, cut, that are basically coming in and out on the screen, right? On the screen that's on your phone. Whereas with everything yeah. else, the, the the lenses are the screens. Right. Right. You know, like that. They can't actually physically get away from <laughs> anything. Yeah, exactly. And that's probably why you don't see that. But it sucks for me. All right. Yeah, like the S will be able to adjust it away from your face. <clears throat> the wrist it's like, it's like glued. There's little there straps is. on the side that pull it tighter, and that's yep. all it does is tighter. There's no like further away. Anyways, if you want to know if you want to know about the lens protectors, idea. I I put up a review. It was like, uh, yeah, it was a lens. Okay. I think it was like something something lens protectors. No. I meant to ask okay. how much I'll do they cost? I think they're and forty bucks. Like forty bucks? I think they're forty oh, okay. bucks. Yeah, they're not yeah. bad. That and they, pretty cheap. They're pretty. Yeah, they're pretty. Good for they're actually really nice quality. <laughs> they come in this little zipper black case, and you like unzip them, and they come with like a little cleaning tool and this little suction clip tool. So if you ever want to take them out, you can. And uh, so they're replaceable yeah. and stuff. They're really, really oh, slick. Sweet. I've put sweet. my own little lens protectors on before, like the Amazon ones. They're like they're oh. okay, you know. Yeah. Oh, the Oculus cool. Quest looks really, really good, Henry. Um, I might, might have to... I don't know. I'm not going to get one myself. I don't have a computer capable of running it. And uh, The Quest or, doesn't need a computer. No, not the Quest. The Quest doesn't need a computer. Oh, yeah, the, okay, that's the... Uh, what you the mean the Quest? Yeah. Okay. I, might, I might be one of the only people I know, though, that I don't give a shit about the Quest. <laughs> At this point, I don't really care too much either. If I was going to take a flight over to I Europe, the best like, of both sometimes worlds. I have to do, well, I would take one. Wait a, wait a sec, doesn't the, the idea to be able to take your quest anywhere you want, That's and play cool. games, and even be That's a VR evangelist point. to people who've never tried VR, would well, that be something to get you want to buy the quest for no i, I think that's a great reason to get it no so that's yeah. one of my only reasons to here's the thing other yeah. than wireless. here's yeah. the thing i think the quest i think the quest is amazing for vr and i'm so excited to see it hit the market i just don't necessarily feel the need to own it because it's like it's oh, not yeah. it's yeah. it's a it's a slightly less powerful version of the psvr so as far as the experience yeah. goes it's not going to give me anything new the tracking will be better. That's the, te it. The, like, the tech is cool. The tech, as I said, it's great for VR because a lot of track. Uh, it's the inside, out. inside out. Inside out sensors inside. with yeah. little cameras so, on the outside. So you, so you can, can take it on the want. airplane. Uh, yeah, you can yeah. walk yeah. down your block in Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah. Because That's, it can do 250, it can, 250 feet out, okay. I believe, in in uh, a complete cool, in a complete circle. They had people running around in arenas at uh, at the game show that they yeah. debuted it at. But for me, it's like. Like I don't, I haven't jumped to PC like like Heavy has, but I'm like, but that's the that'll be the next step. It's like if I'm gonna jump into something, yeah. and especially if I'm gonna feature it on the channel, it's like it needs yeah. to be the next thing. It does. Um, you right. should wait for that live in that Valve Index. Wait to hear what that's about. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Have you yeah. seen? Uh, they've already, uh, posted, uh, they've already uh, posted, posted it up in the Steam. I'll see you they've already posted it. Well, have you seen those Valve controllers, the ones that like the where, knuckles, they, yeah. where they where they where they they strap to your have you, have you guys seen this? They strap to your hands so that your fingers are still free, and it has grip. It has grip sensors on it, so the harder you grip, the more it knows you're gripping. Plus, it has full yeah. finger tracking, and it shows them working at the Boneworks uh, yeah. videos where they're oh, like no, in a, in a, where they're like just playing in a, like it's just like a sandbox of like with guns and stuff. And like yeah, literally, man, you, yeah. like and shit and stuff, yeah, like the, you can crazy. grab it. You can grab an axe, right? But because it has grip tension, you can actually slide your hand down the handle of its too. Because you just like it's oh man, yeah. and like it knows when you That's release, really cool. and it knows when you release things, and it's like oh yeah, the throwing things is like throwing in real life from it's the so, and people oh, playing it. So, it's so, so sick. Keep your viewers waiting too long, Justin. Are you joining us, or am um, I just kicking a? You Come can kick on. one off. I'm coming. Okay. I'm setting up okay. the, the camera. All right. Yeah, here's the interesting like thing is that uh, the, the Valve Index, uh, they're, they had it up for a little bit. I think they took it down, but yeah. uh, on the info, they said that there was a left and right index controller. Could that be the consumer version of Knuckles? 
Yes. Oh, it's they're timing. They're absolutely timing. shipping that headset, the headset with the knuckles. Oh, yeah. that's going to be true. Yeah, you know yeah, that's, that's going to be true. That. That's what they're going to do, certain. yeah. It's, you know that's what's going to yeah. be next. Apparently it uses Vive Pro lenses and the same resolution. And then, and then the the, I, I guess uh, Portal 3 is confirmed. Yeah, so. I know. Hey. Oh, excuse me. All, all these confirms I'm not sure on, you know, like. Maybe, I, yeah, I maybe. I can't, I can't go off of that. <laughs> It's, I, it's I, wonder, so, I, wonder if, it's, I wonder if someone is actually going to use their patent on gloves. I, oh, I would hope they do something cool with controllers next time around. Yeah, I, if, if I had to bet, I would. Which is the consumer base. For yeah, what's you're Justin. Be new, but like, you know, it just takes it to the next level. Yeah, I would say that Sony's very. I would imagine Sony will end up doing something maybe like the Knuckles. I mean, I don't know where they're at with that. Yeah. But they're. For sure. I'm sure you. Th I'm sure there'll be some nice innovations. There might be some. There might be some things that they're behind on just because they're trying to keep the cost down. But yeah. I think there's. But I think there's also going to be some cool hand. innovations. Yeah. Like everyone's they're, they're the next, lucky ones. Like the people next, are, uh, c controllers for the Sony. Well, it's going to have some thumbsticks. <laughs> ha, oh. Yeah. Can you can imagine you they? Imagine. they can you imagine if they brought like out knuckle mm -hmm. controllers and then still didn't put on uh, thumbsticks? <laughs> yeah, we thought mm. you just didn't mind the button, you know. Um, mm -hmm. No, but Sony's good because they're going to have the best consumer yeah, headset for I will. PSVR 2. They know what everyone wants and how to keep it cheap. So it's going to be the best one on the market, like, as far as, like, being affordable and really Shit. good. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah, they, um, they're sort of a licensing company, or at least that's what Sony used to say, like, their real business, you'd say, is it software, is it hardware, and they're like, no, licensing, that's, that's what we really, that's the business we're in, licensing. But, but they are, but at the end of the day, they are a hardware company, like, I mean, you know what I mean, yeah. like, that's, out of any yeah, of the companies, they, um, out of any of the companies we've just been talking about, yeah. Sony's right. the one that knows yeah. how to, they know how to yeah. make yeah. and they're very good at hardware. And yeah. dis and distributing yeah. and and like the flow of, of like of inventory and production, like right. that's that's their jam, yeah. right? They know yeah. how to. Yeah, definitely. And if you look at yeah. people, like if you look at um, all these headsets, they're 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 all now just starting to copy the PSVR's headset design. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Isn't that cool, dude? The Halo designs and all that—it's crazy. Mm -hmm. and the, but the, the, the Halo the, the Halo headset oh. originated from Lenovo. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Well, who yeah. came with it first? Have, have, was it Lenovo or Sony? They have the PSVR patent. No, yeah, Sony sold uh, the patent too. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. At least let them oh, okay. use it okay. for free. Yeah. 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 They well, right now it's a first. Lenovo design. That that's what the yeah. Red S is using. That's what they're saying, yeah. but it's like, yeah, it's like, but, but when they say that, it's like, okay, what if you want to call it the Lenovo design? That's okay. We'll let you have that. Yeah. <laughs> because it sounds weird if they say it's, it's the Sony PSVR design. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is the PSVR design, guys. We're, they'd be like, you're doing what? I have to admit, I don't know the, the, the true history of the Halo design, where it came from, but I've, I I was in the impression that Lenovo did it, but I guess not. It was a Sony pad. Yeah. You're saying. Oh, okay. Yes. That's cool. Sony's ahead of the ball. Uh, for That's crazy. They, yeah. They're comfort, always. dude. They know how to rock the freaking merchandise mm. to make it comfortable. And that's um, the yeah, thing. Um, they say that the Halo Design headset feels like the most comfortable VR headset on the market, even mm -hmm. to this day. I like it because it hangs over your face instead of attaching to your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it doesn't feel mm -hmm. heavy. Oh yeah, if you see anybody take and off I, a PC VR headset after they've had it on for a long time, they pretty much have <laughs> like, funny, they've got dude. like diving goggle face. <laughs> Yeah, it's when you mm -hmm. take off the Rift, you literally have the Rift <laughs> logo around your oh, eyes. It's really okay. funny the way they did it. Come on, the Oculus I'm logo. Wall. <laughs> did I shake you Man. up a little too much, there, Stick? Oh no, he's coming and crawling right up my ass again. <laughs> uh, I hit. Like, oh, that was your tantrum. <laughs> oh yeah, I hit a corner of a wall there, then it just I was just I'm trying, couldn't move. Okay, here we go. Who, who was that blocking then? Was that your tantrum? Or was that stick? I, I cannot stick that corner there. Oops, sorry, man. Oh, I to go on one side. <laughs> sorry, dude. That was not intentional. I got too close. I apologize. <laughs> uh, despite the low resolution of the PlayStation VR headset, uh, it because the um, RGB stripe matrix system, yeah, with it, the OLED uh, screens, that makes a big difference. And, the, and being OLED, and yeah. see, that's another thing. There's no other VR headset on the market that's RGB striped OLED. 
anything that's RGB striped is LCD. Sony is the only one that does that. Well, they were very. What, dude, if there were kicking graphics, this headset would be fucking killer. The lenses are what's where it's at. Yeah, they. Uh, amazing lenses. Sony yeah, had to make. Ryan, we yeah, just yeah, room for more. Very clean, very clear uh, image. Yes. It's Crystal clear. clear. You can only see like what's on the screen. You know, there's nothing in between there. Ooh, Dandro. Damn. It doesn't seem like mine is just showing up. So yeah. No, he probably fell asleep with a hamburger in his hey, face. Um, yeah. Hey, uh, the VR grid said uh, he's looking to jump in. He's got got one uh, room for one more, and I think yeah. we actually do have. Yeah, yeah. Tell Ryan to get his ass in here. Get your keister in here, buddy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, next time you're able to throw a, another invite. That one should be good. We're coming out of I'm the just waiting right for now. me to get to the finish line. It might be a while. I'm sort of sightseeing. <laughs> I had to stop off at Safeways to pick up a couple of things, but I'm on my way. See, uh, the PC guys are saying, you know, how you there how you is. joined that low resolution <laughs> on the PSVR? She come over to the PC, yeah. and that's PSVR mm -hmm. owners are saying, how's the screen door effect? Yeah, that would really <laughs> yeah, that would be um... that would be pretty brutal. I mean, let's be, uh, Oculus Oculus really needed to do the Oculus S. They really needed to jump into the next. Yeah. Like it's yeah, like it was time. It was. I mean, and to be honest, I actually still think they probably should have done a bigger jump. I uh, I feel like this was uh, for sure it should have been way bigger. But I see why they did it the way they. Did. Yeah. I was expecting the S to be the ri uh, the Rift Quest, if, but for the PC. Yeah, for the PC that would have been basically cool. the same system, but for the PC. I like yeah. Extra I, expensive, it, disconnectable. Uh, yeah. Shaggy, you got grid. You got Ryan. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll invite but him. But I'm, yeah. I'm all right with the specs. I'm all right with the Rift S specs. It's yeah. it's grown on There's me. There's a Rift too if you want it. You know, it's just the. A... The pros mm. twelve hundred dollars. So. Woo! That's with controllers. It's yeah, it's gonna be without. spendy, isn't it? Yeah, that index is gonna be expensive. Mm. That's gonna be pretty. That's tricky. Lenovo. Uh, uh, or is are we talking HTC Valve? Cosmos. The index. But the Valve. That's Valve, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. 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 And then there's the HTC Cosmos that look kind of interesting, but I think I don't yeah, know I kind of want one of those just so I can build my own Frankenstein cellular mobile Android VR device and. Make, I think like, this <laughs> entirely thing that's my own and just like fuck around with it. I think that Oculus is smart though because I think they're starting to play a little bit of Sony's game, on the, even on the PC side of things where they're kind of looking at like they're trying to they're trying to deliver a balance of tech and price. Yeah. Well, what did what did uh, Facebook say? They said that they want to bring a billion people to VR. But that's what I'm saying. They're how, trying to make it a lot more accessible. It? Yeah. 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 I've said For this. Sure. I've, it's cool they're doing that. I've said this. To, I've said this lots. I said the. I think the the future of VR is going to be standalone and console, because I just yeah. don't. Because I think the best experience is always going to be on PC because it's unlimited money and power, but as far as like where it thrives, the cost to entry, the barrier to entry on PC is just too high. Yeah. Unless they go and until we get to the point where cloud computing is like an app, like is viable for like, on mass. Then it's right. then uh, that's Stadia, gonna be different. Stadia uh, VR. That's what I'm saying. Stadia, it, Stadia, but in five years, yeah. Now we're talking about yeah. a different. Now we're talking a With different the ecosystem. 5G networks. Yes, exactly. Right. right. Then then we're talking a very different game where now you really just have to buy a headset and you plug it into your fucking TV. Yeah. Or no, whatever. You plug it yeah, in anything. Show. Fuck yeah. It's everything that's rendered in the oh, yeah. headset. Well, that's the thing. Because it's all yeah. wireless and it's all streamed. I said. That I said. Yeah. The... I said TV only because you need it. <laughs> right now with with Stadia, you need some kind of a Chrome device, right? But you're right. It would. Uh, you really wouldn't need it if you just. Yeah, you like, do need. When... You do need something. Yeah, that's true. But, but they just build it in, right? That it, once the next right. step was there. Right now, they're just really oh, yeah, focusing they, they on. Build, they... They could displays. build in the Stadia tech right into a headset. There's nothing stopping them to do that. Eventually. They could build it into your phone, man. Because all you do go. is you just Bluetooth with your phone, and then uh, you'd be yeah. connected to your yeah. internet. Yeah, it's cr I we're yeah we're on the precipice. I think of a very big uh, a very big yeah. shift in uh, in gaming. Oh, yeah. Right, Stadia Stadia oh, scares. Thanks, 
Paolo. Uh, that's awesome, man. In human life, it's a big step. Oh, yeah. We're, no, I'm just, I think we're on a real precipice because I think Stadia, Stadia scares the shit out of some people. Yeah. You guys want to, you guys want to send another invite? Oh, there it is, finally. Okay. Sorry, yeah. No, that's my bad. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. What's going that's on, The gents? only problem right. with that. Played up before with uh, on live and, and ooh, yeah, and stuff like that. Will they be successful? That's the yeah. I, but you know what? Someone I was watching this one guy. He's a he's a Canadian uh, content creator. His name's uh, Happy Console Gamer. Ryan probably knows what I'm talking about. And uh, yes, I do. And he he was talking about Stadia, and I thought he put it really well. He's like, you know, he's like normally. What's up, Pete? How you doing? He's like normally I'd brush this off. He's like as just like well, well we'll see. He's like, and I probably wouldn't give it a lot of thought. He's like, but it's Google. He's like like yeah. he's like these guys like they have unlimited money. And they and for them, there's a huge connection uh, with Stadia and YouTube and streaming. So they have all the reason to make it a go. Like they're pretty much gonna throw money at it till it's successful. This is yeah, also. I still have my Google glasses, so I know they, they always <laughs> <Yeah>. succeed. <laughs> but but but, but Google is also the, like they also are the ones that are starting to put like citywide uh, Wi-Fi and yes. stuff. Like they oh, have yeah. they have they, the resources have to service. make it happen. Yeah. They already have the resources, which is the easiest part for them. Yeah. The money's next. So I think the Stadia's time. Stadia's guaranteed to succeed. It might just not do it right off the hop. And if you see the partners that are that are on board with it, like, like Whoa. it's crazy. Jeez. Plus they were all, Damn, oh, son. Well, I'll tell you what. That was the fakest crash I've ever had in this game. But it was fun. When yeah. I was watching the Stadia event, uh, one game did grab me that they got on there. They got support, and that's Doom Eternal. Oh, yes. They well, got Doom Eternal for Stadia now. What I heard. So if they got that, that might be something. What I heard, they said, is that all your publishers, they want Stadia. Because uh, when it comes yeah. to when it comes when it comes to the console market, they don't want used games. Oh. They do not want a used game market. Mm. Oh, so it's well, too bad. So for that them, with Stadia, bad. it's going to change the way we the way yeah. developers create games. It's going to change the market That's in which we already spend happening. our time. I mean, because they're just going to start calculating well, play time, just like YouTube does. They do yeah. watch time. And so now that's all it's going to be about is just playtime. And they're going to mm. find ways to keep you playing, like, constantly. Yeah. Adding <laughs> this little thing and that. That already happens oh. now. It's like, well, it's already getting They were talking long. about how you could watch someone play on YouTube. Yep. And then and then if you want to play that game, you just hit the play yeah. button. Yeah, and it's and immediate. It's playing that game instant. right on the spot. It doesn't yeah. load, yeah. That's like crazy. Yeah, yeah. The game is always and it, saving, so you can jump in. And it, and it would we'll keep, see how that actually works, though. That sounds great on paper, but yeah, I mean, yeah. it sounds very good on paper. And and talking about latency. That sounds future uh, data right? caps. Yeah, well, not gonna happen. so here's the thing. Di no, the Digital Foundry has actually posted results, so that's someone that I trust, and they and they actually and their results. They basically they tested Stadia in like the in the uh, like in, in the environment that's realistic for like you know with yeah. someone with good internet and they said that like they yeah. r they ranked it for latency um with like uh this it was like it was like 1080p at 60 frames and 4k at 30 frames and 4k at 60 and blah 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 and basically what it came down to was the stadia for latency pretty much performed like the xbox one x with only pc yeah. with only high-end pcs outperforming it in latency and they were saying console gamers are used to latency they don't know any different yep, yep. and they're like exactly. so they're like they said like when they played assassin's creed um and they were playing it at like maxed out 60 frames uh and i think it was only 1080p but they're like it felt normal Fireworks. like it felt fine they're like now Twitch shooters and multi and online Twitch shooters will yeah, be the that's thing. What, that's what I'm that'll talking be about. that'll yes. be interesting. That might not be. That's uh, what I'm talking about. That might yeah. not be uh, competitive off the hop. But then Doom Eternal's a perfect fit for that, right? Because a lot of people will just play the campaign. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I'm just saying, as far as mass market appeal is going to go, as far as you know, all the mainstream people going straight after Call of Duty, as far as the you know competitive side is concerned. Yeah. Like unless unless they have that in you know full force, 100 percent locked, you know, um, that's not really <clears> gonna <throat> hit the mainstream as much as we want it to. So it'll hit the casual gamers. But then, well, that's but like yeah, but how many? But I wonder how many really, 
how many gamers really uh give a shit about latency or know any different even the guys who are obsessed over call of duty um like how many of those guys really like know yeah. anything about latency in the People console world oh, yeah dude they, they, anyway, they know it dude, 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 dude this this professional uh like yes combat players oh i know but, that's but you're talking about but, but how but how yeah. many how many is that really when it comes to your yeah your your call of duty community a lot of them are just a bunch of fucking jock bros they're like yeah man fucking call of duty they don't know <laughs> shit <laughs> Well, I'm, well, they I'm live saying in a secret okay. compound, and they wear camouflage for, at all for times. marketable. Okay, <laughs> uh, basically, what I'm saying is the people that the, the same mainstream dude bros you're talking about right now <laughs> watch. They watch, fucking um, whoever the top Call of Duty Call of Duty Call of Duty team is right now. Whoever the fuck that is, they watch them. You be if They are not playing that. I don't know yeah, if a lot of those. Be... I just don't know if a lot of those people. I think that's still a pretty small community of people who really care. Yeah, compared to the the people, people who like, really just care about high refresh rate. They're on PC. On the, mm. on the moment uh, reactions are probably the niche are still you know yeah niche. And, yeah, and, still the, and um, then they're on PC. Still the techie and early adopter and the you know yeah. Well, the well, hardcore, uh, you know. I, I guess maybe I'm not conveying what I'm <laughs> saying here. I know what you're saying. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying that I think that that's a small, a smaller portion than you think, because I think that they're very vocal about yeah. what they give a shit about. But I think that if you, if I'm Stadia, but they, they are and, influencers though. Eh, they are to their little group of people that watch them. But if I'm Stadia and I come out to my average gaming community at say E3 and I'm like, all right, guys, at launch, nine dollars a month, you're gonna have all the new mm. releases day one we've got assassin's creed we've got call of duty battlefield like all your major titles and we've got exclusives and we got madden and we've got nhl these guys are going to be like what sign me up like yeah. like <laughs> let's put it this yeah. way i'm i'm a movie snob like and i'm a cinema snob and i'm an audio snob and i think netflix sucks it looks like shit and it sounds like shit but how many people really care no, exactly. Like Netflix is compre I, I Netflix is compressed to shit. Their 4K is their 4K is garbage. Their 1080p is garbage. But most people think it looks and sounds great. They don't care. That's Stadia, man. Most people don't yeah, care. Yeah, don't have to. You mean yeah, they get all these movies and I don't have to pay for consumer anything? Consumer market, you know, the, the yeah, consumers yeah. will buy it just because it's easier. Yeah. And and the other thing is is that Netflix has one of the best algorithms out there for delivering. Um, variable resolution it'll 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 scale its resolution based on your internet yeah. like you can play it on almost any yeah. connection and you know stadia yeah. is going to be coming to the party with the same type of thing it's going to be designed to deliver the best experience and even if that's to cheat yeah it's going to do dynamic resolution for yeah. sure like a cr like crazy probably though oh geez this course is horrible for my car by the way who picked this <laughs> i know this I <laughs> I don't know. So oh, it's, it's like this is a demolition derby more than it's a race, especially with Ryan in here. Oh, come on. That's what I'm trying to do here. Because you're dirty. So you're dirty as fuck. Yeah. yeah, that's that's why I mentioned it. We've got like. I picked the slowest car on the planet. I can't. Got, the second you guys, you guys uh -huh. away from me in two seconds, I picked We've got like car. seven racers and Ryan. <laughs> the, sun, <laughs> the sun effects is on point. Speaking of which, isn't, like it, isn't it bedtime, yeah, Ryan? Fucking good. Uh, yeah, just about. <laughs> <laughs> I just, oh, I'm gonna say I that that really more, funny so. YouTube video. There's a guy that comes upstairs and goes, "It's bedtime." You know, he, he knocks out the light with his foot. He goes, "It's <laughs> oh, <Jesus>. bedtime." <laughs> Shit, they're all laughing at him. Is that oh, so, Told you to turn that music down. It's effing bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> See now when you say that all I think of is uh, Michael Jackson's uh, black and white song. I grew up with that where Macaulay Culkin's playing the music on his yeah. tape deck. Yeah. Turn that down! <laughs> bang, bang, bang! Oh yeah, I remember that. That was my song. Back in the day. Yep. I'm I still love Michael Jackson. Uh, I don't <laughs> think he did it, damn it. I don't <laughs> think he did it. Uh, I don't want to get. I don't want to believe what they I say. I haven't watched know. the new documentary, but I don't think he did it. But I, no. I don't want to get into it. I don't. <laughs> I don't yeah. The thing uh, is, it's here, a mockumentary. <laughs> well, you know what? It's just, it's just. It, it, the problem is, he was such a weird dude, and he was like, 
and he was yeah. so he was so stunted and anyone who knows him like really knows him said he was like a man child and like it's yeah. it, it sucks because it's it, under any yeah, normal I under just, any I normal sc- any normal scrutiny and any normal person would look at what he did and go that's some weird ass shit but if you're literally like a nine-year-old kid trapped in a 50-year-old man's body, it's like he just wanted to have sleepovers. Like he just wanted to hang out because he didn't get along with adults. He was, he was like, he was really yeah, stunted. Yeah, but like, what a what a, what do little kids do when they're like, it's a sleepover, you know? They start even jerking even off if it's and it, shit. Like, that's I don't what think, he wanted to do. but like, but like, even if it was I don't innocent. think that's what happened though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you what, e- even though even if it was innocent, so it's guys still do? creepy. <laughs> yeah. that, that's what we all did, right? I was going right? to say, I was really glad I didn't have sleepovers um, with you growing um, up. Guys- <laughs> <laughs> should we all, should we do like a wombat race or something? Uh, no, no I already you know picked my car, it's too late. Uh, uh, we'll yeah, next one. I, I'd do that next race, that'd be fun next time though. What, what, what are we doing? Yeah, I agree. Wombat race what, what, next what, what, time. Wombat race next time. Jesus, yeah. they're crazy. Wombat. Does any the, the speed bug? Does it? Does anybody? Does anybody have the the video game uh, trivia to know what's significant about the wombat in this game? Eh? Eh? It eh? It's got turbo. Okay, so here it's you go. Got turbo. The guys hey, who. What's cr- the, the, the crew what's who. Cursed, there's the crew who made dri- the crew who made Drive Club made Motor Storm, and it's the Motor Storm buggy. Uh, oh yeah, okay. that's what I thought. Cur- What's Kersders? Do you know what that is on these Kersders? cars? Yeah, the K K E R S D E R S. Is that actually a turbo oh. on a car? Uh, you it's know, a kind of yeah, boost. it is. It's a boost. It's a that's a it's a thing okay. that uh, indie cars have. It's, uh, it's a speed oh, okay. boost. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it, it is legitimate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's a wombat. <laughs> no, the, uh, the wombat's just the got a supercharger, and I think. Yeah. Whoa, we're sideways. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, since the world went weird. Yeah, I was just that me, was man. Since the new update came out, it's been doing that. I never used to do that. Yeah, that's why I've been just sitting still, waiting. I haven't played this since the fucking game. Oh, man. Excuse wow. me, guys. Who is that? <laughs> Fuck, fucking leave me alone, Rob. I'm way back here, man. I'm way Blame back behind me. you. Look back. I was doing good until everybody just smashed into me. Now I'm trying to go around this dirt road, but now somebody's still crashing into me. Come on. <laughs> That's mm. me. Barely <laughs> made that turn. Oh, jeez. Whoa. I just pretty much careen off the oh. guardrail, dude. Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! I saw that in the rear view. <laughs> <laughs> did, you see, did you see me go right through him? That was awesome. Robin's racing, boys. Oh shit! Pay, not paying attention to the fucking road. Oh man, I survived. Oh Fuck. shit! Yep, give you a nice little kiss there. See you later, Justin. <laughs> How was that again? Darn it. Ah, what I was crashed. this race? <laughs> See you later, Rob. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I oh, that's what you get. <laughs> Damn, karma. <laughs> oh. Right you quick. Tokyo Drift. <laughs> God damn, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> I haven't finally I've played this for honest to go. I've like Two years. <laughs> Half the battle is ah. picking a, a fast car. Damn, Rob, yeah. where'd you come from? Just came flying by me. Just yeah, got you guys this are new uh, crazy car. I can't remember what it's called, but it's pretty good. <laughs> it's 
So do you guys drive with like the HUD on? I turned it all off. I, no, I keep I, it off. I, I keep the map on. Okay. Oh, you, oh, you talking about up at top there? Like where it has everything? I'm talking about yeah, I'm talking about everything. I have every, oh, I, have, no, I, I, have, right I have everything off but the map because the map's on a little tablet there, so it yeah. looks realistic. <laughs> yeah. All right. I like seeing who's in front of me. I keep the name <laughs> plates on if I get close to someone. Yeah, yeah. Right now it looks like you're riding above your car, Justin, <laughs> looking back, staring me down as I'm driving towards you. I can, yeah, I can see your uh, Day of the Dead skeleton Al Capone living there. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I want to thank everybody that popped in the stream. Really do appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and cut the stream there. It just hit midnight. I know everybody's sleepy. So I will see you guys on the next one. And until then, peace. Hey. Oh, man. Drop the controller. Yeah, I guess I should wrap up that stream, too. Good, man. Anybody still in the stream, anybody watching this post-stream, thanks for tuning in. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video.